Hello YouTube! Welcome to Pokemon Dungeons and Dragons. Our game takes place in the scenic and wild Laris region, home to some of the world's fiercest professional battlers, as well as some of the most caring trainers. Whether it be for fun, sport or fame, battles are abundant here in the Laris region, and the League Challenge is available to anyone brave enough to battle all eight Pokemon gyms in the region. Let's meet our players and heroes. Tia, playing as Phoebe Wilhelm, with her Sweenub Nobster, and Centret William. Joel, playing as Milo Rooter, with his Murkrow Monty, Ladybug Violet, and his Houndor Howl. Jordan, playing as CJ, with his Totodile Crash, his Mankey, Bang, and his Houndor Growl. And Ben, playing as Bentley Woods, with his Magby Mortar, and his Yanma Evanrude. Under the shadow of the massive buildings of Alluvia, our heroes set out for a day in the big city. Okay, here we are. It's fast. Yeah, you guys have the very extravagant gates to Alluvia. I can only imagine. Can we, like, chip off some gold? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not desperate already. But yeah, I mean, well, we have ten dollars collectively over money. here. Yeah. <laughs> zero money. I found this gold. You just chipped the paint off of the gate. <laughs> no, that's not what we that's did. Not you don't know that. How much for this gold? Real quick, before we go like in, I'm gonna look for some rocks. <laughs> Are there any rocks around? Can I? Can I? I'm gonna do a perception. There's check. some very nice, like orderly rocks oh, yeah. leading oh. up to the, oh, yeah. oh, the gates. I'm taking some of those. Like some very like ornate pebbles. Yeah, I want like oh pebbles. Want, are they how big are they? They're, They're small. About, about this big around. Oh, it's still I useful. Care about those. Oh, they could are do they? some damage. I would, yeah. yeah. I'll take I mean, like Williams three. already got five, so. <laughs> well. I'll take like three of them. <clears throat> three ornate pebbles. Cool. Somebody three. might want those. Are it, are the gates are just open? Like we can stroll on in. The gates are open. Oh thank you. Uh, they're. <clears throat> Coated in like gilded leaves all the way up and around. Do they look expensive? <laughs> they look very expensive. <laughs> I'm just saying, um, I could have Gotta dumpster. sell these gates. <laughs> all the while, you guys are sort of just in the shadow of the massive Pokeball Tower that just rises. That's crazy! Way too high. Man, that thing totally looks like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Where That's we, a penis! <laughs> weren't, weren't we told what that does and it like doesn't really do anything? Does it do something? It just signifies They're to the rest right. of the world how rich. Yeah, they like light it up they at can night. Work. Badass. Blow money on a yeah, giant as, tower. As far as you guys know, it's literally yeah. just a symbol of wealth and power. So there's you nothing in it. It's just sort of a monument. As far as you know. Oh, let's go check it out. Um, That's ridiculous. So we we walk in. Or is there, I mean, where do we even begin? What do we see as we what walk in? What were we told yeah. by the person who was from uh, here? D? Yeah, that there's a gym. Well, and That's it. There's and Ryan else. and Lucas are from there. Oh yeah, the two. They work at the power plant. New Ryan does. And then Lucas is the degenerate gambler. Let's go find that little kid. That's all I want to do. Degenerate gambler turned champion yeah. battler. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do a perception check. See what's around. Okay. What's my perception? Sixteen. Nice. Sixteen. <clears throat> okay. Aside from the obvious, the massive golden tower, uh, you, you are able to see a warehouse um, with a big sign in front of it that says Inheritance Shipping. Um, you can see a tall building that looks kind of like a school. It just says Battle Hall over the top. Um, let's see, and then it would be to your, to the west of you, um, you see another large, like, office-style building that just says the Right of Learning Academy. Whoa. Don't like that. The what? The right as in, like, I have the right to no, do this. No, as in, like, a, like, a, like writing a book? book? No, like, R-I-T-E. Oh. The Right of Learning. The it's right like a rite of passage. But the Right of Learning. So, if there's a place for shipping, does that mean that we're close to, like, an ocean? Uh, you guys are currently... Like next to a river. Interesting. Is it river shipping or is it like Amazon where they just <laughs> send drones? Out. So they send hot ups out with little packages. This is drone. The they would never get anywhere. They would just be blown around. 
Yeah, that's who gets the packages. Oh, it's okay. all dependent upon wind patterns. Hello, bye. <laughs> uh, aside from that, to the east, you can see what looks to just be a residential district. Just rows and rows of houses. They're all very cookie cutter. Um, and then to to the west as well is just something that looks to be a business quarter. It's kind of like uh, like a Manhattan skyline. It's just tall skyscrapers that just stretch on for for miles, it seems. Well, this city appears to be gigantic. Yeah. Uh, Does anyone need to heal first before we go do something? I'm okay, because we, we, I'm good. All right, cool. We rested, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah it's it's up. We're solid. So what do we want to explore? <laughs> Holy cow. Um, I think Everything? We, okay, well, what do you want Everything. to go first? You can't do all of it at once. Should we go check out that warehouse? That's where you want to start? Yeah. Dang. Just see oh, if there's, there's anybody around. Really? <laughs> is there anyone around right now? Oh, there's like Check hundreds of Is there anyone of people? Oh. It's like around? a sprawling metropolis. Okay, there's but I'm everywhere. looking for specifics. <laughs> what? <laughs> just specifics. You could just pick a person 19. out of the crowd and be like... Anything look funny? <laughs> there's a clown. <laughs> <laughs> he looks um, funny. Um, as far as you can tell, this is just a, a city full of adults doing busy adult things. So like Stupid business, adults. casual clothes, lots of briefcases, lots of suits, lots of briefcases, watches, lots of watches. <laughs> Everybody's got like we a Rolex. William, go! <laughs> are, there any, are there any Pokemon? Oh, around? Comes oh, back with four hundred thousand uh, dollars worth of stuff. Like, oh my god! <laughs> On occasion, you do see somebody walking with their partners, but it's pretty rare. Okay. So I'm thinking mostly like domestic types. Before we oh, break yeah. into places and get in trouble in. We're right just away. Checking it out. <laughs> she didn't say break in. Yeah. Uh, this is awesome. Pops and stuff. <laughs> Next to this weird black. Love it. If anyone <laughs> questioning your own drawing. Um, I'm thinking we should hit up the battle hall or the rite of learning. And see what it is. Right of learning sounds like there's low key child abuse going on in there. It's, it sounds <laughs> like Scientology. <laughs> Let's go. If you don't learn, you'll get the stick. And for real, though. Okay, so we're right to the. the teacher comes equipped with a switch. She's like, oh god, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So the right of Do learning. You guys want to check, check that out? out? Yeah, no. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the right of learning. Oh god, really? I thought we were gonna go to that hall, but Let's whatever. Let's go it. learn stuff. I thought you just said yes. And then, <laughs> then you were saying yes to that. You had two options. I was like, okay, let's pick one of them. Let's make it be the battle hall. <laughs> well, we can. No, right, right of passage is fine. We should do that. Right no. of passage. Whatever. Okay. Learning. Okay. Right of. Learning. As you guys make your way to the right of learning, uh, you can see it's a big, kind of like rectangular building. Uh, it's probably a quarter mile in each direction, um, and then it just rises into the, into this, almost into the clouds. Um, wow. The outside of the building is like an obsidian, and then it's just, uh, it's like coated in those little gilded leaves, wow. similar to the entry to the city. This place is gaudy. Like everything here is going to be this way. <laughs> I know, I don't like it. It's so too much. As you guys approach the Rite of Learning Academy, you see a girl in probably in her late 20s. She's got long hair, highlights, pulled back behind aviation goggles. She's wearing a blue jumpsuit and tall black boots. Um, she's not saying anything, she's just standing outside. Uh, but you can okay. see she's got like piercingly gray eyes. Whoa. Did and we meet this person before? On her right so. forearm, there is a tattoo of an arrow. Like last Airbender style, or uh, like a like an actual like, an arrow, like a huge, bow and arrow, like, like that you would fire okay. from a bow. Yeah. Where this is in the entrance? Mm -hmm. She found a desk or anything? No, she's like outside. Oh, <sighs> we're not in the, at the door. Oh. Oh, we went outside, outside the door. Who wants to say hello? Nice tan. She just looks. And just stares like through you. And just nods. Is it open? The building? <laughs> she just nods and holds the door open for you. Thank you. She nods again. Can you speak words? <laughs> she nods. Interesting. Oh. She's a mute. That's cool. 
Probably not it. You know. Well, that was that was a shake, right? <clears throat> this is more of a shake. Okay. Sorry. No worries. I was just clarifying. So I knew you did this, but I was like, that's maybe not a nod. No, I was saying like from before. <laughs> that's what made me ask that. Okay. That's strange. Do you work here? She nods again. Okay. So we going in? Let's do it. Yeah. Maybe they're gonna cut out our tongues. <laughs> Aviation school. <laughs> As you guys enter, she enters the door behind you and closes it and pulls out a Pokeball. And a very small, like little parrot, a little music oh, note comes cool. out the top of its head. And it sort of flits on top of her shoulder and just says, Welcome class. Oh, Fantastic. that's so cool. What? That's so cool. That's awesome. It says, Welcome to the Rite of Learning. This is Carlia. Carlia? Will be your teacher. Really? Carlia? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll ask you to spell that later. Dang. You guys can spell the same way, so I bet it's that way. Um, it's rarely. So. <laughs> yeah, we're always wrong. <laughs> What are we learning? What would you like to learn? I can teach many things. Uh, options? So I want to send out Monty okay. and have him perch on my glove. Okay. And, uh, and, and tell him I'm training him to be faster to learn a new move. Okay. Is that what the school is for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just offer it. I can teach you anything. Fair enough. That's true. That's true. They look down and just say, hello there. To Monty? Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. I just hold him up. It sort of flips it. Alright, well, I'm also going to send out Mortar. Uh, I, I would also like to have my buddy Mortar learn some new moves if that's what we can make happen here. That'd be cool. Carlisle just looks at you, and the little bird just looks down and goes, We'll see what we can do. Do you normally teach people or Pokemon here? Both. This is a place of learning. It's <laughs> the right of learning. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna send out both Williams and Munster. Okay, I'm gonna. Well, Crash is already out. Crash is like. Ah. Um, I'll send out. I'll send out Bang as well. Okay. This Bang hits the floor. He's like full class today. Not <laughs> <laughs> messing around. What's first, teacher? It's like, who would like to be our first demonstrator? I guess I'll go. Yeah. David too, me Yeah. And what move are we trying to teach? Uh, I, Do I you want have one in mind? Yeah. Or would I'll, you like a suggestion? Uh, oh, snap. Well, I had the intention of teaching him Aerial Ace because he delivers letters, and I think that'd be helpful for him in both his journey and battle. But what are you, what would you recommend otherwise? He delivers letters. Perhaps a move like Tailwind. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. To be faster. <laughs> Smart. I, I'd be open to that. Because the wings are small, but the power is there. Cool. How about it? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, very well. Carlia, if you would do the honors. And she pulls out a Pokeball and sends out an, a very tall, very exotic looking green bird, similar to the Natus that you guys have seen, but it's got like face paint painted on it. Um, and it's it's a deep crimson red. Oh, snap. And as it hits the floor, she's uh, Carla just looks down, and the little bird goes, "Zatu will be your instructor today." Oh, cool. So it goes, if you would please have your friend perch in front of Zatu. All right, Monty, do it up, buddy. <laughs> as Monty flits down to the ground in front of this Zatu, who's easily like eight or nine Triple times eight. his size. <laughs> He's just sitting there, and the Zatu, just with one wave of the wing, causes a whirlwind to start, like, whipping up, and you guys are having to, like, brace yourselves against it, and Monty's just sort of stood in the middle, staring at you, like, shaking, just in the, in the breeze. He's just looking, he's like, what do I do? Monty, get up, fly in it, use the wind to your advantage, gain some speed. Alright, have Monty make an acrobatics check. Sick. Oh, wow. Or he's gonna be a real big team. Nice. As Monty flits up into the into the breeze, he watches the little bird is just curiously studying Monty. And as Monty's kind of like just flapping to, to stay up, he just goes, 
fly into the wind. And Monty just starts like whipping up speed, whipping up speed, and then uh, the Zatu closes its wing and the breeze stops and Monty continues at that speed. Oh, dang. Sick. Cool. At which point he goes, if you would stop, as Monty comes to a stop and his wings meet, there's a like a serious gust that like forms in front of him and like pushes out. Cool. Nice. Away from him. Sweet. And he's like, we're making good progress. That's awesome. That's nice. really cool. Monty, do you want to try to whip up your own whirlwind to see if you can build your own speed? Monty just looks at you and goes, Bruh. kind of bobs his head a little bit. Let's let's give it a shot. All right, have Monty make a nature check. So that's nature. wisdom. Nineteen. Nineteen. Wow. As Monty sits ahead. there, it's not as effortless as Zatu, but it's there. As he's kind of flapping his wings, you guys watch as the familiar whirlwind starts to kind of whip up. Sweet. In a smaller area, but it's still there. And Monty's just... <laughs> and as he's coming up for one final uh, kind of gust, the little bird lands next to him and just goes, Now slice. <laughs> and the whirlwind just carves into a little blade that goes straight ahead. And there's these little bamboo nice. training sticks in the, on the other side of this room. And he just slices like three of them in it. Oh, oh, that's cool. Damn. That was awesome. And he goes, your little one learns fast. <laughs> so Thank cool. you. I'm super excited right now that he's that into this. <clears throat> Is his whirlwind sword going or did he use that? He uses attack? that. Okay. To, that's cool. That's so, so cool. So he goes, you now have the beginnings of whirlwind. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Not what we were aiming for, but impressive all the same. <laughs> Dang, that's awesome. So basically, you can have Monty try to do a whirlwind. Mm -hmm. and he can, and then he can turn that into either a buff for his allies okay. or an attack. Nice. Sweet. That's um, awesome. It will require concentration checks just to attempt, okay? Because it's new. Okay. But that is a thing that you can now. Like attempt to do. That's nice. really cool. Are we no, allowed to know how long that lasts? Like how long he has to do the concentration checks before uh, he just knows it? There's. I've got a. I have a destination. In okay. Mind. What is concentration? I don't have that anywhere. It on is my a list. Constitution saving throw. Okay. So basically, anytime you want to try it, okay. in addition to the attack roll, there's another check okay. and you need to pass both. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Carlia, do you and your bird Pokemon like? talk to each other? The, the bird just flits up and goes, that would be silly. I just understand her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be Carlea silly. Carlea kind of stares at him and just is like... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, sorry, I get carried away. Interesting. How long have you guys been teachers? He's like, she has been a teacher much longer than I have. I am new here. Oh, okay, cool. Let's see. You guys pick up quick, Sweet. I guess. That's really yeah. cool. That's amazing. It's like, it is my gift. <laughs> Pretty cool. Well, does <clears throat> someone else want to go? I definitely do. Um, crash. Don't bite anybody. <laughs> Get out there. <laughs> um, his jaw open. He's kind of stomping around. It's like, we have an energetic one. Yeah, he's excited. <laughs> um, I kind of want to teach him how to do some sort of like water move, maybe a range something, a water gun or yeah. something like that, unless there's something you would suggest. Like, very well. Water gun is a very basic water move. Perhaps he would be better off using his physical strength in the attack as well. Yeah, sure. That would make sense. Let's do some drills. Okay. Come with me. <laughs> and he kind of like flits <clears throat> excitedly down the hall as yes. Crash is kind of like behind him like <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. He's like it's fine. I have taught many totodiles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just sort of like, he just looks over his shoulder and sees Crash coming in for a bite, and he's just already out of the way. Nice. He's like, "Good, you're too slow." <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on that. Okay. And as he flits over, there's a small pool. <clears throat> he goes, "Young one, if you would please direct your friend into the water." All right, Crash, dive in, dude. Crash just sort of is like. <laughs> just like splashes in. It's like up to his neck, but he's just like flailing around. He's like, <laughs> and he's like very well. You can work with this. <laughs> it's like, if you would, have him focus. Okay. Focus on you. Look crash. Crash. 
Let's go. Right Has here. he ever produced his own water before? Um, I think one time. Yeah. yeah. To try one and time. use it to help our friend, but not as like an So someone was anything. in danger. Yeah. Very well. He requires stress. Jesus, oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess. Let's work around that. <laughs> <laughs> Fill the pool! <laughs> 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 Have Crash make a nature check. Okay. Come on, Crash! He's just sort of flapping around in the water. Oh. Is that wisdom? Do I get to add that? It's intelligence? It's wisdom. Okay, so it was a six. Oh. It might be intelligence. It's intelligence. Is it oh, intelligence? Yeah. If it's That's intelligence, nature then it should be wisdom. But either way. Is it negative? Okay, so, wait. Uh, yeah, it'll be an intelligence check, basically. Okay, then it was a three. A three? <laughs> okay. As Crash is sitting there, he's kind of just like... <laughs> water's not really coming out. He's just Scarling. sort of flailing and gurgling. <laughs> <laughs> Crash! Focus, dude! <laughs> farting bathtubs and laughing his ass. <laughs> We're not wrestling right now. You're trying to learn! is like... Have him try to drink. Okay. Dude, drink some of the water. He just goes like, ah, oh, the blue. Let him try again. <laughs> All right, here we go, dude. This time, focus more. <laughs> oh no, is it worse? It's a one. Because <laughs> he's serious? underwater. <laughs> Roll this. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> This is not going well. It's a water Pokemon drowning himself. <laughs> he holds his head up and water just like spurts out the front of his mouth. Like, oh, and he crash. just looks at you and goes, yeah. <laughs> it's all it's crowded. Crowded. Yeah, we're doing okay. He's like, Wah. <laughs> There's, we could be doing way better though. Carlea just goes, perhaps he struggles with range. Mm, okay. Let's start smaller. Have him perform a bite attack. But use the water around him. To bite? Like bite at the water? Have him use the water. Okay. Not as a target. As a fuel. Alright. Crash. I don't even know what to explain to you right now. But just like, you are water. Like, just <laughs> think about the fact, like, that you're water. And use the water. And then bite something. Not anyone in particular, just like maybe in the air. Right. Have Crash make a bite attack. Oh, man. Come on, Crash! <laughs> That's 19. Nice. 19. There it is. As Crash is sort of <coughs> sitting there, just thousand yards stare right through you. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> it just pounds into the water. And leaps up, the water kind of swirls around him a little bit, and as he goes to bite, there's like a, the formings of like a giant turtle's mouth that comes out and like nice. snaps in front of him. <laughs> Damn. And Crash is sort of in the middle of this thing, just going like, Rah! That's awesome. That's so cool. And as he, as he comes back down to land, the turtle kind of disperses back into the water. And okay. Crash is just like, Rah! That was so awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy. That was pretty cool. It's like he is a quick learner. Yeah, I don't know what that was, but it was cool. <laughs> it's like, to be honest, I'm not sure either, but that was very interesting. Yeah, for sure. Nice. So he's gonna need water to use that, I guess. Might be helpful for you to get some. Well, to pack at some he's point. created his own water before. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but in the heat of battle, if you can't produce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he does well under stress. Yeah, that might be a better the situation. Of battle. He probably <laughs> can't, if he can't produce. Wasn't feeling it right now. <laughs> I'm not feeling this moment. Just in a battle, just going. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, dude, doing? stop the battle. Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, rabies. <laughs> oh my god. I can't do it. Oh, uh, crash. <laughs> That's oh, crazy. So did Crash learn anything, or that was just like he's getting closer? Okay. <laughs> he was. It didn't go well. Do you want to? Do you want to keep trying for it? I feel like you're. Let's go to somebody else. I'll, I'll say, talk. I'll talk with them can, to the side, and we'll. Yeah, and so you can practice, practice while yeah. someone else does their thing. Yeah. Agree. All right. Nice. nice. Uh, so Bentley, having seen these Pokemon training up, uh, turns to Carly and says, "Well, I'm I'm a." A big battler, and I, I want to take on the gym here. And I heard that they do uh, flying types. 
and I was wondering if maybe my mortar here could learn a move that would give him some advantage over them. The little bird looks down and goes, very astute. Have you realized where you are? The, the right of learning? <laughs> Do you know what this place is? What it represents? No. Do you know who Carlia is? Only a little. You've come to the right place. Oh, I get it. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, send out your friend. Okay. We're at the gym. No. Okay, some orders. No. Out. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you can't be snapped. He looks down and goes, this is not the gym. I didn't think so. I was hoping not. <laughs> this is where we practice. Okay. Pretty cool. I like it. I'm curious now, because, like, what incentive do they have to help me if I'm like, I want to beat the gym? <laughs> They're like, well, that's me, so you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> Carlia pulls out another Pokeball. Oh, so instead of a Zatu, this time there's an enormous metal bird that hits Ooh. the ground and just... Oh, shit. Stands in front and just that's... kneels down in front of Mortar and just goes... Wow. Scream! <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh my god! Terrifying. Mortar holds his ground, but is like clearly looking at you like, bro, what do I do? <laughs> the the little bird just goes, yeah. excellent, he didn't back down. We can work with it. Good work, Mortar. Now that was terrifying. I've <laughs> pooped my <Yeah. laughs> I crapped myself the second that bird hit the ground, but you did well. <laughs> do you want to change clothes first, or are we good to... <laughs> Wearing a diaper, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a late bloomer. <laughs> what would you like to work on? Um, I mean, I don't know. I was thinking maybe Mortar could learn Thunder Punch. He already knows Fire Punch. Very well. Huh. Let's take him to the conductors. That you see in the ominous. <laughs> in the corner, there's there's um, there's like a little yellow mouse that's sort of like charging up into a into a superconductor and there's a slightly larger like orange one that's sort of like cheering him on. They're like, ah, ah. The little one's like, ah, ah. It's just like, okay, you're good, you're good, you're good. And the bigger one kind of picks up the little one and like pets his head. And they see you coming over and they sort of like wander around and they sort of stand at attention. And they're like, the way is open. Like, they're kind of like teachers here, like, Okay. Okay. Thunder Punch is a difficult move, even for electric types to learn. Let's see what Thunder happens. Do you right? So, what should I be doing? So he leans down and sort of looks, he starts examining Morgan. He's like, perhaps the larger arm is a place to start. Is this the one that produces fire? I've heard Magbees tend to prefer one arm over the other. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. That's Morda's big arm. And the smaller one? Does he use that in combat as well? Uh, only ever to, like, steady himself, not usually for battle. Very well. Let's start there. Show me what he does with the small arm. Uh, I need to see its range of power and motion. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm gonna... Tell Mortar to like launch in the air with his big arm and then swing around his smaller arm. Okay. With a five. Are <laughs> okay. you doing like an attack? Like is yes. he mock punching with his arm? Yes. Did you put that modifier on there? So it's a ten. So it's a ten. As Mortar sort of flings himself up into the air and goes to punch with the the smaller arm, you can see he's like physically uncomfortable with the idea, and as he goes to punch, he just sort of like lands on his shoulder. And the bird just goes, I see. Has his arm always been substantially small? Uh, yes, ever since birth. Very well. Physical limitations make for the most exciting comebacks. Let's get to work. Everyone loves a good comeback story. That was, that was touching. <laughs> <laughs> he looks down and he goes, we're going to start with the lightning. Now this will hurt. I will not lie to you. Alright, uh, are you ready, Mortar? Bentley's about to be electrocuted. <laughs> uh, 
don't care if I am. <laughs> he just looks down and just goes, Pikachu, if you would please come this way. And the smaller little yellow mouse just sort of goes, okay. And just sort of hops down and waddles over. And just looks Pikachu. at Mortar and just like starts rubbing its cheek and just reaches out to the big arm. All right. Uh, shake hands with him, Mortar. I think he might get a little bit of a shock, so be careful. Order just goes out and claps the big arm around the little tiny like Pikachu arm and just fully encompasses it. And he watches his arm kind of like locks and seizes in place as the Pikachu just starts glowing. And he watches Mortar's just like there's like tears forming at the corner of his eyes, but oh, he's God. just locking eyes with you. He's like, We got this, we can do this. He does take four points of lightning damage. Okay. But you watch as his larger arm <coughs> starts to be just like encircled in lightning. And as he's holding on to it, have him make a concentration check. So a constitution saving throw. Okay. I will be thunder. God. <laughs> uh, 14. 14 is enough. Sweet. As Pikachu lets go, Mortar is able to keep that lightning in his fist. Sick. Have him make a fire punch attack with advantage. Okay. This one. 17. 17. Nope, man. As he just sort of is holding on to this charge, he watches his arms like shaking and kind of seizing and contorting in very painful ways, and then he just slams his fist into the ground, and the electricity disperses. Sick. But he's kind of just like. Whew, and he just kind of shakes out the muscles in his arm. Good work, Mortar. That was wildly impressive. Mortar's nice. just. And he just like baps it again and the no lightning comes out and he looks a little disappointed. He's like nah. <laughs> He's like, I got one good one. <laughs> Sweet. And the, the little bird looks down and just goes. The odds are he won't be able to produce his own lightning for a while, but now that he's familiar with the feeling, I imagine when the circumstances are right. He'll produce. Fair enough. In the heat of battle he'll produce. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I need an electric type to <laughs> pair up with him at some point. That would be swell. But that was cool. Nice. He just sort of looks over to Phoebe and just goes. So I want to. I want both William and Nutster to like learn together. But because they've been working together, I'd like to improve William's speed because that's his biggest asset. And then Nutster, I just kind of want to help him stronger. The little bird looks down and just goes, team attacks. Yeah. Speed and power. Yeah. We They've been training this. together up to this point, so. Then this should be simple. Right. <laughs> William and Hopefully. Nubster are friends with each other. <laughs> 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 Their butt can't be broken. <laughs> <laughs> They're a pig thing and a little maybe rabbit something. I don't know. Chef's ad. Squirrel. <laughs> Flying squirrel. <laughs> All right. He goes, you want to work on the little one's speed and the other little one's power. Yeah. He's got a pretty cool ice shard I'd like to make a little more beefy. May I see it? Cooler. Yeah. Oh, do an attack. Nester, do an ice shard. Have William catch it. That was a hell of a roll. That was a 15 over there. 18, 18 with her yeah. modifier. Oh, 18. 18. Yeah. As the ice shard sort of coalesces, he watches the bird's eyes kind of twitch. He's like, oh. Is William going to try to catch yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. William, catch the ice shard! The greatest. No. What is it? Eight. Eight. <coughs> plus, did, did he get uh, anything dex. like that? Oh, his dexterity. So Which is plus nine. two. <laughs> yeah. Ten. William sort of runs over and is like, I got this! And outruns it. Dive tackle. And then right in the chest, oh. like, Ooh. right in his little bullseye. <laughs> right in his little bullseye. <laughs> As he sort of hits the ground with the ice shard, he's like clutching onto it, like yes, I got a prize. But he's also like, ow, <laughs> that hurts. And, and Nubster for like a split second, you can see actually like opens his eyes and is like, <gasps> <laughs> just goes, I see, you have a peculiar way of training your friends. <laughs> But I suppose if they get used to taking each other's hits, then if it happens in the heat of battle, it does not matter. We can work on the little one's speed. Nice. William! Have you ever considered playing fetch with him? 
No. A brutish game, however, can teach him to be fast. Okay. As well as to retrieve. Okay. Do Go get the Rolex! <laughs> <laughs> Do you have, perhaps, a stick? I have uh, a critical stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> William does. William knows a bunch of sticks. He is a collector. I don't know if I have a stick. <laughs> that's, a, that's one way to yeah. phrase it. I have a bunch of berries. <laughs> He's a collector. Oh. Perhaps if we were to retrieve one of his sticks. Alright. A hat! William! Where's your hat? He's like clutching onto it on the back and is like putting the ice shard away and he's like, what? <laughs> <coughs> William, I'm gonna have Nubs for making a little ice shard like in the shape of something exciting. I don't know, a circle. Have <laughs> like, well, here you go. <laughs> the most exciting eye shot. I, I, I said that, and then I was like, Nubster hasn't done this before. He's going to make a circle. The I'm most like, exciting of the shapes. A circle. <laughs> Everyone fucking loves circles. <laughs> Let's get it. As Nubster William. creates a small circular eye shard, the most exciting William. of all shapes, <laughs> <laughs> William looks oh, over God. and is just like, William, you want this? I need a stick. Sort of like, so it's like trotting closer. It's the long con, just melts in his bag. Yeah. <laughs> As he's reaching out to grab the, the little circle from you, do you do you allow him to take it? No. I want a stick, William. He reaches out and just goes, oh. <laughs> We're trading, William. I'm giving you this. We need a stick. He reaches into his bag. Pulls out like the jankiest little broken twig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're in trade. Then he go. takes the little spear and he's like, yes. <laughs> yes. and as he's holding it in his hand, you can watch it's already starting to melt. But he's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> then he looks down and his hands are just wet. And he's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh and he starts pouting. You've wronged him. <laughs> you wronged me. <laughs> William, do you want the stick? It's like. <clears throat> The broken stick. Yeah. All right. He starts nodding, kind of hopping excitedly. I don't know how far I can throw this. It's like, this little one is very excitable. Yes. He loves anything. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's a, if it's, if he can pick it up, he'll take it. So I apologize in advance if something <laughs> goes missing. He goes, that's fine. We do not have anything important here. All right. William. I'm gonna throw it. Do I have to do any kind of... Yes. So you'll roll a strength check. Okay. And William will roll a dexterity check. Ooh, like real life! Three. Yeah. Well, you've set a very low DC for yourself. And then what is William doing? Dexterity? Dexterity check. Come on, William! Uh, 19! 21! Okay. As the stick is about to leave your hand, it's like... (laughs) William's just there. He's like... Got it. <laughs> it's like, I got it. I'm ready. Oh my god, William. <laughs> it's like, yes. I got my stick back. It's just sort of, he didn't even like jump. He's just sort of perched on his tail. He's like, I okay, got it. The bird just goes, well, he certainly is quick. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> is he quick? Or is he just suck at the right It's true. Yeah. <laughs> he just goes like, Mwah. just falls on my hand. <laughs> He goes, let's, let's try again. Alright. Oh, that's Jake! Ten. Ten! Better than three! Better than three. What's it at? Sixteen, so eight. Okay. This time you're a little bit better. The stick goes about five feet in the air before Williams just... Got <laughs> 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 it! I like the catch. This tiny little hand. Yeah. That's all he's got. Awesome. William! He just goes... He's very quick. Mm-hmm. But I think we can make him faster. Have the other one shoot ice shirts. Okay. He William seems to be very attracted to Wide receiver for an NFL team. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, Nebster. Start shooting ice shirts at William. How many are you doing? Three. Eighteen. So, twenty-one. Do another one. Oh. 21, 10, and 9. 
right, William. Avoid the ice shards or catch them. 16. So 18. 18. Okay. 20. Natural Critical 20. catch. <laughs> Critical catch. <laughs> and 18. And another unnatural oh 20. Nice. Yeah, okay, <laughs> ready for this. First ice shard. William's just sort of sat there holding the stick, and it just <laughs> hits him right in the chest, and Nepster's like, <laughs> three, and just sort of like gently shoots two more ice shards, and William's like, <laughs> <laughs> woo, just claps them together, and is like, stick and two ice shards, and he's just got the biggest smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. He just goes, have you ever considered trying to make a concentrated stream of ice? No. Perhaps we should try that. That'd be sick. Dumpster! Rapid fire ice shard! We're all like, have you ever tried Constant this? Constant stream! No. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> Come on, Dumpster! 16? Sixteen? Sixteen? Okay. Um, as Dumpster's kind of just like, shooting out ice shards as fast as he can. Um, they're starting to freeze over and you watch as the ice shards are starting to like link together very slowly in like a big chain. Nice. Is Get it, dumpster! Yeah. <laughs> 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 All he has to do is open his eyes and just blizzards come out. That's why he keeps them closed. <laughs> <laughs> the Pokemon version of Cyclops. <laughs> Black Bolt situation. If he whispers. <laughs> The world is destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> the bird just goes, that seems like an excellent place to start. Nice. I would keep on that. Not sure that was as for the, awesome. As for the retriever, really? he is fast. He will get faster in time. It's pretty sweet. So William can have an extra bonus to hit on his quick attacks. So he's gotten a little bit faster. So it's a plus four instead of a plus three. There's now a plus four to hit. It's really nice. Nice. Yes, William. Get that ice beam. Are you gonna train Violet? Oh heck yeah. If we got if we got the if the teachers are still willing, I would love to send out my other Pokemon. The bird just looks at you and goes, well, of course. So, I'm gonna like Watch this schooling cost like a thousand dollars. We're just like, oh, <laughs> we did not know. Whoops. <laughs> oh, man. Run! <laughs> Student loans follow me everywhere. <laughs> Even in D&D. <laughs> God damn it. But since I'm already in debt, I'm not even going to ask yet. Out come Violet <laughs> yes, in, uh, in my hound door. Nice. These are my other two. Um, <coughs> Violet. Your name? Not yet. No. Because I'm hoping you will. <laughs> um, Violet, when she gets pumped up in battle, she gets this purple glow. And then, uh, I, hey, Violet, show them show what you got. She just grabs all six of her little fists and sort of pounds them together. And all the like dirt and dust on the floor starts to just like vibrate and slowly rise. And then the smaller pebbles just turn to dust, and then nice. the dust just disperses. And you watch as she basically like just goes full Super Saiyan, and just purple aura just spikes out of her, and her Sack. eyes start to glow as well, and she's just like. So Violet's got the tenacity, and she's always ready to to tumble, but um, she cannot take a hit. I think that's her biggest weakness is her vitality in battle. She often goes down in one or two moves. Well, that kind of hurts her confidence. Hmm. Perhaps we can work on that. It can be difficult to stay up, but perhaps we can encourage her. To take them down faster. <laughs> <laughs> or learn and <endure>. jerk. <coughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. Just tanks a hit. Just goes very well. We will use Skarmory for this demonstration. Oh, no. oh, snap. <laughs> Woo. 
Skarmory will send waves of sonic energy towards your ladybug. I want Ladybug to punch those wings. Oh, okay, cool. Punch it so do fast, it, hit the sound. Each one that she does not hit will hit her. Oh. And it will hurt. Oh. <laughs> A lot. Oh. All right. Each one. Might Did you give her a pep talk? <laughs> Tell her what's coming? Uh, I just... No, she's psyched. She's okay. ready. Her eyes are glowing. She knows what's about to happen. <laughs> right. She's okay. squared up. She sees this big old bird in front of her. Yeah, the Skarmory just sort of squares up. <laughs> And just yeah. start shrieking, and you watch as like sound waves almost like ripple and burst apart, and just like concussive energy, and like sick. The light around it starts warping as it's headed towards the you. Am I rolling how many combat you rolling, hits? You're rolling just to hit. Okay. Your goal is to hit all five of these waves. Oh boy. We're assuming for the oh sake boy. of this that Violet is able to do five combat punches because it's not in the heat of a combat. Gotcha. She's just, she she's knows just it's trying. coming. She's, just she's got focus energy, so it's plus four to hit. Mm-hmm. Please. Natural 20. Okay. Oh my god. Right out of the gate. A 21. Okay. A 9. A 18. A 10. <clears throat> and a 19. Good God. Okay. I feel like the 20 should negate one of the misses. <laughs> you watch as Violet, the first one approaches, and she just punches sound away from her. And it redirects just to her side, and you watch. It's just like, or the antenna goes, as it just flickers past. Second one, she comes back with like a little karate chop to the side. The third one catches her square in the gut, and she's kind of like, <gasps> and as the fourth one's coming, she actually just reaches up and kicks it. Oh, and Sweet. then another one strikes her in the chest, and the last one she just puts her arms out, and her aura stops it. Nice. Oh, cool, she cool, just sort cool, of cool. redirects it upwards, and let's go. <laughs> oh, it up to this way to go, Violet! That was awesome. But you watch; she's got two massive bruises in her chest. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Come here, Violet." I, I call her back to me, not in the Pokeball, but just yeah. to to give her a hug. A sure, like, hug. Fuzzes over and you give her a bug hug. <laughs> <laughs> bug hug. That's the first and only time a lady boss should ever face off against a Scarberry. <laughs> and live. <laughs> Cowboy punch. Like, tick, 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 tick. <laughs> I'm getting through it. <laughs> that did zero damage. <laughs> Damn. That was well awesome. Way to go, by the <clears> way. <throat> that was Woo! Really cool. yeah, that was sick. I doubt there is much more I can teach her. She seems very skilled. Oh, nice. Sweet. Thank you. Get it, Appreciate Violet. that. Um, the other Pokemon I have here is Houndor. I actually just met him yesterday. Um, do you want to send yours out too, CJ? Sure, I'll see why not. They're from, I mean, I don't, we don't know if they're brothers or not, but they're traveling in the same pack they're together. Pack. Um, but they, they have this this thing that he was, you want to tell them about what you saw in battle? Yeah, so Crash took three of these things down by himself. Um, I think mainly because when the battle started, one of them bit another, the other Houndor on the leg, and it seemed like they were trying to hype each other up or something, and it, it really hyped up Crash, actually, but that's another story. I didn't know, we didn't know what that was about, though. Well, I'm the only one that saw it, but it, I didn't know what it was about. It seemed very interesting. It's crazy. The bird goes, we've studied Houndor. It's, it's not uncommon for the pack leader to encourage the lessers in combat. By biting them? Yes. Mm. It is to show what is to come if they fail. Oh. Gotcha. Okay. okay. <laughs> Different. <laughs> Dominant motivation. I'm glad that one died. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, the... If you were to have caught the alpha, you would have had a very difficult time training at anything. Makes sense. Fair enough. Very likely not listen to you. Yikes. Alright. Um... We had, I mean, we don't have much experience with them yet, but do you have any, any advice on, on yeah, what to do to, to help them along or uh, help them assimilate into the group? So they can beat Spun Pops? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks down and he goes, the easiest way would be have them fight together as often as possible. Okay, good to know. If they came from the same pack, it's likely they'll function better together. Makes sense. Cool. Alright, well then that's it for me then. Cool. Um, 
well, while Bang's out here and he's just standing there watching everything, um, I kind of want to see what he can do, um, but also at the same time I want Crash to try again. Um, so I think Crash will be more motivated and more focused if he's actually like fighting because they okay. like to wrestle like all the time. Um, so uh, I want Crash to try and figure out Water Gun again or whatever that turtle thing was because that was amazing. Um, and then I don't know what what would be good for Mankey to focus on. Those. How does your Mankey fight? Um, he usually like gets pretty hyped up and goes at people pretty heavy, just like punching and swiping at people. <clears throat> he is a boxer. Pretty much, it seems like it. Lots of fast hits, not a lot of hard hits. Yeah. Hmm. Perhaps we can fix that. Okay. He goes, have the Totodile breathe water at the Mankey. Oh, here we go. We can try. Oh. All right. Crash. <laughs> We're gonna do it a little different than just going at each other. Crash doesn't cover goals. We're gonna do this like a battle. I want you to try and shoot water at Bang. Amazing. You can do this. Breathe the water. It's like you're wrestling, but also focus on doing good instead of just messing around. Alright, so what is this? This is just a nature check. Okay. Just can sure. Crash produce his own water? Can Let's go, buddy. he produce water with nature? So it's, that's intelligence again? Yep. Okay. This one deficit. <laughs> uh, nature. Nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, this time as Crash sort of sits there, he starts to just sort of gargle and kind of like spit a little bit. Okay. And then eventually he focuses just enough to get like a stream of, of water that comes out of his mouth that he's not getting from anywhere else. He's oh. producing it. Sweet. But it's a very, like, weak amount of spit as Bang sees an opening and just, like, leaps in and is like, <laughs> comes in for a hit. As Crash is like, <laughs> and the stream just <laughs> bursts out as Bang's like, <laughs> and Crash just goes, <laughs> and just tries oh to God. bite him and they just start wrestling. Oh, my God. And the bird's like, seems they have learned all they are willing to learn from me. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Perhaps they will learn from each other. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> oh, they'll definitely Back keep doing this, so that's that's, yeah. that's fair. Back to me. Back to Bentley. Um, I'm going to send out Evan Rude, but Ooh. I don't know what he could potentially learn. So he's got a lot of abilities and things. So I'm probably just gonna have yeah. him like pop out and like join in with the training and kind of watch Mortar and I'm gonna see if Mortar can make any more progress on learning a new move. Okay. The little bird looks at Mortar and just goes, has he ever produced his own flame in like a, like a stream? Um, has he ever thrown fire? I think maybe once or twice, not anything that I remember distinctly. Well, maybe that ever happened. Yeah, remember he made that wall on fire? Oh yeah, he did that. Can you do it with like his arm though? Just, no, like, I don't remember. Just scorch the earth around him? I don't remember. Hmm. Have him light up his arm. Do I roll for that? No. Okay. You just tell him. Mortar, light up that arm. Mortar's, mortar looks at you, just... Nice. Just ignites the... Ignites that bigger arm. He's just sitting there, kind of curious as his arm's just like on fire. He goes, have him concentrate not on punching, but throwing. All right. Mortar, try and throw that fire. Have him make a nature check. And that is... Intelligence-based. Oh, shit. Okay. Check out Mortar's kind of dumb. <laughs> Crash is minus two, so... Eleven. So it's Mortar. As, as Mortar sits there with his arm on fire, he kind of is just like... He's like <laughs> just waving his flaming arm like around. there's a bug flying <laughs> his face. But eventually he just releases his grip. And a little, like, gob of fire just goes out, probably like ten feet. Nice. He just Sweet. starts a small little ember on the floor. A job of fire. <laughs> <laughs> a scotch. 
And the little bird looks down and goes, Excellent. Continue to work on that as well. All right, we shall. As Evan is just kind of like, <laughs> just watching this all happen with very excited eyes. He occasionally like perches on your head, kind of like spins <laughs> in a circle, and you're like, okay, sure. <coughs> the little bird goes, I believe that is all I have to teach you, at least for the moment. That's awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah, Thank you. Do you Thank have you. a name? And we know Carly is the your trainer, but yeah. He goes. She has never gifted me a name. Okay. So I am Chatot. If you need me. Thank you, Chatot. Yes, of course. Um, before we leave, do you have any? Uh, we just got to this town. Do you have any suggestions on where things we should check out, places we should go? Where's the gym? <laughs> <laughs> the gym is to the northwest of here. Only a few blocks. However, I must warn you, it will be difficult. An entrance is locked until you have taken the trainer's code, so I would recommend the battle hall team next. Oh, okay. Cool. Any other places of interest for us uh, beginner trainers? You might get a kick out of the agility fields. Oh, yeah. Where are those at? Those are behind the gym. Okay. That is where Carlia's Pokemon train for speed. Uh, where's the uh, Pokemon Center? That is to the direct east of here, just past the Inheritance Shipping Building. So we could go check out the Shipping Building. I'm going to need to heal up Mortar if we're going to the Battle Hall, because he took some damage from the electricity. Yeah. Sweet. Well, he took some damage. Awesome. Thanks, Chatot. Thanks, Carlisle. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Carlisle just kind of waves and Chatot just goes, It was a pleasure teaching all of you. I'm sure we'll see you soon. He goes, I certainly hope so. That's awesome. That's cool. Alright, do you guys want to go to the Pokemon Center? Or yeah. are we hitting up a. It's behind the warehouse, so we can go look at that yeah, first. Yeah, it's okay. the warehouse. Kind of what I was thinking. So let's go. We'll go to the warehouse. The. Uh, Inheritance <coughs> shipping? Yes. So we'll walk up to that building. Okay. Can we see what it looks like or what's around you it? You can. It is a very kind of like dilapidated building. Oh, that's odd. A um, little bit run down on the outside. Uh huh. Um, but there are a number of trucks and like small vans that are just loading up boxes. Um, freight is coming and going at all times. There's a number of men and women in like kind of coveralls just loading and lo unloading these trucks and driving them away. Um, you can see a rather portly fellow in a very vibrant green suit um, with like a neon orange hair is currently talking to one of these workers. He's got a very loud and like boisterous voice. Uh -huh. He's kind of just like, oh yes of course, bring the trucks out. We must keep the freight flowing. It's very important to the city. Keep it, keep it working. Can we see like what types of things they're shipping or is it just boxes? Uh, it looks to be just boxes. Lots of like big wooden crates. Interesting. Where's the green suit guy? Green suit guy? In relation to you? Yeah. Um, he's just outside the front, kind of by one of like the dock loading bays. I'm um, just talking to an individual, but he's probably like maybe 100 feet from you. Okay. But you're able to hear his voice like, all the way over here. Booming super loud. <coughs> I don't really want to talk to that guy, but I'm curious what they're shipping. I don't know if you guys feel the we same way. We can walk a little closer wanna... and just see if we can see in the warehouse. Fair enough. This... Is there only one entrance? No, there's like seven. I mean, if there's anything okay. visible from the street, there's like a few dozen entrances. From from it's a big yeah. warehouse. Can we, like, can we scope around it and see yeah. if there's any that are open where we can kind of see some goings on inside? Yeah, there's several. There's not like security or anything okay, posted cool. up here. It's, Sweet. it's just like a loading warehouse. It's kind of like a big Costco or something. Okay. Is there uh, a door that's open? Uh, go ahead and make an investigation check. Seven. Seven. Uh, you don't see a door that's open? But whether or not any of them are unlocked is another story. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's one that's least in the way of traffic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, like, it's 
act like we're still going to the Poké Center, but like check some of the doors on the way, if yeah. there are any. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can send out Evan Rude because he has advantage on site-based <coughs> checks. So if we find something that's worthy to look at, he could probably well, figure out what we're looking at. Yeah, but we know that there's doors at this moment. We just don't know if any of them are unlocked. Right, so that's what I mean. to try like, them. Yeah. But like if we have something to look at. Right. Shoot. Or we're investigate. Um, <coughs> just for just for giggles, I'm gonna walk up to this green jumpsuit guy. The man in the green suit. Yeah, it's like a full on. Suit. Oh, I thought it was a jumpsuit. Oh no, he's in like a full on like. He's he's big wig. It's like a three piece suit. Gotcha. Wow. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse. Yes, small one. What can I do for you? Uh, I was curious if you knew uh, where the nearest like post office is or a mail delivery service. Oh, certainly. We keep those right next to the Pokemon Center. That's oh, cool. where a lot of comings and goings are, so that's where all the people like to be. Cool, cool. What brings you to my fair city? Uh, we're just traveling. I've got some of my friends over there, <coughs> but we're just traveling the world. We just got to Alluvia, like early this morning. Well, welcome! Is it not the greatest and grandest city you've ever seen? It's absolutely gigantic. That's, I'm not used to this sort of sort of city. That's it's like, you'll get there, kid. Don't <laughs> worry about it. Oh what, what, what do you do here? I'm the mayor! <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I love the way he He just holds out a big, like, paw of a hand to shake yours. He goes, Deacon Halsey! Pleasure to meet you! Deacon Halsey. <laughs> I'm Milo. It's nice to meet you, too. It's like, if you kids are ever in need of anything, you come find good old Deacon. I'll hook you up. As okay. <laughs> long as you're in my town, I want you safe, happy, and fed. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. Thank you so much. Sounds That's cool. So, what an offer. Uh, <laughs> I think you talked to him. Damn. <laughs> That's real. I was like, no oh, thanks. <laughs> I will move mountains to make sure that you love this city. <laughs> Holy shit. And then he doesn't want to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys do yeah, in what's this warehouse? Going on? Like, this is the Inheritance Shipping Company. It's the backbone of Alluvia. It's where we get most of our wealth. Wow. Cool. I make sure this place runs because sure. I need it to. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's where you get your wealth? Imports, exports, all kinds of things. Okay. Alluvia doesn't produce exports. much. What are you importing? We get everything. Oh, clothes, food, everything we have here. Ruby is not a production town. Working. We are entirely based on tourism. <laughs> so there's no exports then? Well, there's there's a few. We we do sell golden Pokeballs for those who are so inclined. Golden Pokeballs? That's it? Oh, dang. Wow. You'd be surprised how much those can make. Yeah. Do you guys have a... Uh, do you import uh, Amber Balls? Like amber Balls? Can't say we do. Oh. No, that that tends to be locked down in Amber Crag. They don't like to send those anywhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guess I should have known that, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, listen, kids, I got to run. I got a town to keep functioning. If you need anything, look to that big golden <laughs> ball. Oh, God. That's where I'll be. All right. Thank do you, you think maybe you, he's Mayor. compensating for something? Or it's made in the image. Is he kind of like? <laughs> is he kind of waddles away? You guys are just like, what the heck is that? That is a lot. Very eccentric. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, do you guys want to investigate that any further? Nah. I mean, I figure it's pretty boring if they're just importing goods for a giant city. Or he's putting up a front. There's illegal import. We don't really have any reason to believe that's happening. Do you want to just check a door and yes. put that down there? <laughs> you can go ahead. Do, do most of the people around here look like him? As far as like the green suit and the orange hair? No. Okay. No, no, they all look like him. fairly normal. He seems to be the He's eccentric. Deacon Solid Halsey is one of a kind. <laughs> can you imagine his ad campaign? <laughs> Green suit, orange hair, vote for me. Everybody's like, yeah, it's your later vomit. What are you looking for? Not what my you, door. What are you rolling for? She wants to check a door. You don't have to, you don't have to roll to check oh. a door. You just put you your just hand out. <laughs> you just try. put your hand out and try a door. The door that you reach out, you just kind of, it's open. Let's go in. Whoa, just what? see what's in there first. 
Open it. Let's trespass. <laughs> okay. Take it easy. Go ahead and make a stealth check. Deacon's not gonna care. Yeah, we we're on a first name we're, basis. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> we know Deacon. All sick. <laughs> what am I doing? So. <laughs> <laughs> oh heck yeah! Nineteen. Wait. Nineteen. Got it. Okay. Oh. Uh-huh. As you, as you like, kind of sidle your way up to the building, the other three are still kind of just discussing the monstrosity that is Deacon holds it, <laughs> um, and you just sort of slip your way into the building. I mean, no one's noticed me. So you are currently inside in Heritage. What are you seeing? Okay. Um, while Phoebe looks around, uh, Mila's gonna go to the bathroom. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> She's taking a pee or in the trash can? Okay. Mila, what are you doing? Go to the bathroom. <laughs> Scoochie. God, Deacon it. told me where the bathroom is. <laughs> So what do you roll? Nine for perception, or can I what just see? What do you roll? Did <laughs> did. Let me perceive. What do What are you trying? I'm to just see? trying to look around. You just want to look around? Yeah, right you now. You don't have to roll to look around. Okay. Look <laughs> around. Just do that. You just do. Okay. You just have to say I want to look around. I'm looking around. <laughs> okay, you can see four massive bay doors. Okay. Three of which currently have a truck back into them. All right. Uh, you can see inside there's probably two or three dozen people just loading and unloading these trucks. Okay. Um, every box that comes out is stamped with inheritance shipping. Um, and if it's not, it's being stamped. So they have like a big station that just kind of like okay. stamps down inheritance shipping. Um, some of them say approved by Mayor Halsey. Um, but many of these boxes are just like being loaded and unloaded. You can see at a couple stations, people are sort of cracking them up with like crowbars. Uh huh. Um, it's just appears to just be like clothes, occasionally some food. Okay. Um, some of the larger boxes do contain like luxury cars that are being shipped in. Um, you do see a big crate that's being sealed with just golden pokeballs that just get stamped. It says approved by Mayor Halsey, and then those get loaded onto the trucks. And the trucks occasionally just like the bay doors will close, they'll drive away, and another truck will back in and get unloaded. Is that something weird? Dang. Nothing out of the ordinary? Not as far as you can see so far. Investigate. Get out of there! Investigation check. <coughs> what are you investigating? Just to see if there's anything like out of the ordinary. <laughs> so that would be an insight check. Insight. Investigation is like, like if someone's being I'm weird in the at corner. This box. Yeah. Inside that's not me. Quit being weird. <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> Who's being weird in your... Oh, I am. I, I snuck in. <laughs> what, I sorry, what am I wondering? Inside. Inside? Ten. Nine. Nine. Ten. Okay. Uh, Ten. Everything in here seems to be on the level. You don't notice anything uh. particularly shady. Uh, it's just maybe he wants a conspiracy. People working, getting their jobs done. I'm trying to figure something out. Okay. It's not helpful that my eyes hurt. I miss. <laughs> I don't. Okay. I'm well, then I'm just gonna leave. Found normal things. She found Nothing's normal happening. Things. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna leave. Okay. Go ahead and make another sales check. That's why I voted for Deacon. <laughs> you can't even vote. <laughs> <laughs> not 18, only do you not 18, live in the city, you're not. Yeah, you're able to get out the same door that you came in with no one noticing you. Okay. Cool. Guys, Lucky nothing's team. happening in there. Nothing was in there? No. Okay. Well. To the Pokemon Mart. Pokemon Center here. Yeah. Ooh, he can't go to the Pokemon Mart. <laughs> yeah, he can. <laughs> uh, I should have sent Willie Mountain to that crate with the gold. Oh, yeah, he could have taken Pokeballs. Uh, Golden Pokeballs. Uh, <laughs> Just There's right. still plenty of potential for William in this city. I'm not going to understate that. All right, so we'll, we'll go to the Pokemon Center. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna heal up Mortar. Okay, so he's back up. To I, I think Violet as well. Everybody. Yeah. Violet's just bruised. Okay. She didn't take damage. Okay. But she felt pain. Everybody. Um, my my hound door's still Howdy. nursing that leg because mm-hmm. it was freaking broken. Phoebe, you wanna Crash. practice some medicine on him? Maybe try to cast yes. him. Yes. Medicine. Here we go. Eighteen. Okay. Um, the Houndor still is kind of recoiling to any touch or attempt to <coughs> touch the leg. Um, but you 
you do get the beginnings of like a splint on there. That's about all it lets you do. You take one of William's sticks, much <laughs> to his chagrin, and you start to kind of like wrap it up, and the hound door is just not having it. It's like, no. Oh, it keeps pulling back the foot from you. He's not very happy. Thanks for trying. You give him a berry. I don't think it's going to help his broken leg. <laughs> Just to make him feel better. If you want to. Remember the last time we mushed a berry on a wall? <laughs> <laughs> well. Come here, Houndor. We know what we're doing. What are you idiots doing? <laughs> Nurse Joyce, like, you're in a Pokemon Center. Stop that. <laughs> um, okay, so while we wait for a mortar, um, who's, who's hanging out in the Pokemon Center? Uh, you can see... Currently, there's someone that looks to be like a, a police officer, kind of like perched up in the corner. It doesn't look like he's on duty, but he's got like a badge and a gun. Uh oh, the popos are here. Um, <laughs> he's currently sitting next to a a man who's wearing like a very pretentious like open robe, um, with like weird pants underneath. But he's just kind of sitting there, with, like <laughs> no shirt robe. under the robe. Weird Fantastic. pants. Guys, okay, so what's up? Uh, and he's chest? currently trying to talk to the officer, and the officer's just having none of it. <laughs> Can we get closer to hear what he's talking about? Yeah, if you want okay. to. Yes, please. He's, he's kind of just, he's staring at the officer going, Look, man, I'm telling you, inheritance shipping, man. It's all a big conspiracy, okay? It's by the mayor. Told you guys. All right? <laughs> Told you guys. He's Told you guys bringing in road. funding, okay? But he's not sending money away. He's just keeping it for himself in his big gold tower. And the officer's like, yeah, we know. It's not a conspiracy. <laughs> it's called imports and exports. It's that's, just that's his job. basic business. It's <laughs> kind of how the mayor got to be where he is. I'm telling you, man, you got to watch out. He's bringing in things, he's sending things away, <laughs> sending away our money, getting other money sent here, he's keeping it. <laughs> the officer's like, yeah, we're aware, again, you're just saying the same thing over and over again, that's all you do. The man just looks up and he goes, kids, I'm telling you, the officer goes, don't listen to him, he's literally crazy, I'm telling you kids. Don't listen to the man. All right. <laughs> does he work for the, the mayor? Man, don't listen to him. Of course he does. He's on government payroll. Yeah, he's got to keep his. He pension. has to. He's going to back up the mayor. Exactly. <laughs> she gets it. She knows. Phoebe, you're going to incite a riot. <laughs> this guy. Rebel. <laughs> this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. You got a good head on your shoulders. <laughs> Battle him. <laughs> So what was next to the Pokemon Center again? That we were Mail thing. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's yeah. just for my future knowledge. I'm not doing anything with it right now. Oh, okay. okay. Fair enough. Cool. Um, I want to ask the police officer. Are there a lot of people in town like this, like this guy right here? There's no one like Xavier. Like <laughs> he's <laughs> ridiculous. That's funny. What's the uh, what's the weirdest thing Xavier's done? Xavier <laughs> decided to take eight pounds of meat and throw it all over the giant golden tower, claiming that it was a sacrifice. Then he tried to frame the mayor for it, even though the entire town watched him throw meat all over the golden tower. Well, he spouted his typical nonsense, and Xavier's like, No, man, you got it all wrong. I tried to say he's got the pigs on his back, so I was throwing meat on him so that everybody could see it. And he's just like, There you go. That is the weirdest thing Xavier has done. Xavier, why don't you like the mayor? It's not that I don't like him. He's a friendly man, but he's too friendly. It's true. You know? He's That's very cheesy. Friendly. He's too he nice. He was very cheesy. It's like, That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, conspiracy. <laughs> he's too nice, and he's too rich. Those things don't, they don't click. You know what I'm saying? 
She knows. <laughs> Would you like to be as rich as him? Always so, be suspect no. of power. Super wealth corrupts, man. Oh, the power. Oh, they can't corrupt me. Power. Super wealth. <laughs> absolute power corrupts absolutely. Dude, you should put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I will. Because I came up with it. No, that's my <laughs> idea. DM. How, how long have you been a police officer? He goes, seven years. Seven years. Long enough to see Xavier grow from a bright young man to a moron who believes in conspiracy (laughs) theories. Mm. That's crazy. uh, We just got to Alluvia. We traveled from uh, Oriander City. (laughs) That's a long way. Yeah, it was a journey and a half. That's pretty cool. Dang it. Okay. Um, I keep saying dang it. Dang it. Just every... Five minutes. It's just like one of Milo's ticks. Yeah. Get used to it. Dang it! Dang it! <sighs> it just has Tourette's. We're just Dang not it. finding it. <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> Savage. What is your name, officer? Because you can call me Officer David. Officer if you need me. Alrighty. Okay, well, I'm. I'm Content. I'm waiting for Mortar. Yeah, so is Mortar healed up? Mortar is healed up. Alright, so I walk back to the group looking at all the weird conversations that you've had. Basically say that we're ready to go. Okay. To the school? Uh, the, the battle. battle, 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 battle. It looks like a school. Yeah, I wrote it as school. Tall school battle hall. Bam, 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 to the battle bam, hall. Bam, bam. To the battle hall! Pull up that shit. Damn. Other page of notes. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang I keep forgetting dang. stuff. So the battle school? Away. What are you forgetting? I want to ask literally anyone for uh, a means of income. Are we walking right now? Yes. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> Just some random person on the street. Grab a random guy in the suit. Yeah. Hey. Yes. yes. What do you do? I work in business. I'm, a, I'm an attorney down the street. Business, oh, nice. Business. Um, is there anything that we could do to make money around here? I, I guess if you battlers, you could do the battle hall. Is that the best way? Probably. Would you be interested in seeing a wrestling show? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so like if I was to wrestle my Pokemon that's something you would watch yes do you think other people would be interested in that probably okay thank you no well, you're not going to give them the show <laughs> not right now it's just one dude <laughs> we'll, we'll do it we'll do it another time I don't know what a tease you are <laughs> like just, just, just checking the pulse just seeing uh, if there's, if, I wrestle if, there's if there's want for it I didn't know if these people would be interested in that and they'd be like that guy's crazy <laughs> Yes, I would love to watch. <laughs> yes. He just gets real weird about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep an eye out for us. What? It's going to happen at some point. Okay. You should, you should get clearance from Officer David. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> might need to be sanctioned. I don't know if they like street performers. Or if you're straight up fighting, they might like rip you off each other. And yeah, but I uh, don't know. You, you can tell them. You'll be like, no, it's fine. They do this all the time. All right, to the battle hall. To <laughs> the battle hall. Like set up William's hat as like a collector of <laughs> money, and you're just <laughs> wrestling yeah, on the level. side of the road. <laughs> William's just taking money from people <laughs> as they watch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like pickpocketing them. They're not even like offering money. <laughs> All right. As you guys approach the battle hall, you see yet another just big obsidian building with gold leaf trim. Jeez. With a very elaborate sign over top that just says battle hall. And as you guys walk in, you can see there's a man in a lab coat sort of <coughs> typing something into the computer. And he's just sort of sat there, just typing away. And he turns around and he goes, Oh, hi. Hi. Welcome to the, uh, to, the, to the battle hall. Sorry, where are my manners? Hi. Welcome. Sorry. It's in my own head. What are you doing? Taking notes. About what? Everything. Oh, okay. I study everything. I like that. Yes. We heard this is the uh, the battle hall, the Olivia battle hall. Are we at the right place? Yes. Awesome. You are, you are at the right place. You. This is the battle hall. You have arrived. Well, awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. 
And I am uh, I, uh, D- Dr. Uh, Simon Reese. Dr. Simon Reese. Simon Reese. It's a pleasure to meet uh, all, all of you. Milo. Uh, M- Milo and friends. Yep. I'm Bentley. Uh, Milo and, and Bentley and friends. Phoebe. And M- Milo and Bentley and Phoebe and friends. Yes, really. CJ. <laughs> Hi. Hello, CJ. Hi. I'm Simon Simon Reese. Doctor. Dr. Simon Reese. Hi, Dr. Reese. Uh, uh, what, a, what are you a doctor in? Uh, trainer psychology. Uh, I, I study how trainers interact with their Pokemon mm. during uh, battles. That's why I opened the battle hall where you are now and today. That, uh, that's that's what, I, what I do here is I I sanction battles. Um, I, I'll pay you for your time. Yes. Um, and uh, if if you win, um, I will. I require a a, a brief uh, interview with you afterwards. Um, however, uh, some some Pokemon don't like to battle, so I I have come up with a series of tests as well. If that's more your your uh, speed or style, cool. Um, but please, please come come inside. Absolutely. Uh, let us let's enter the uh, the actual battle hall, shall we? Yes. I've got no one else here at the moment, so awesome. um, I'm afraid you might have to battle each other. That is that might fine. Be the only way. Heck yeah. Um, fine. Do you get your grant money? It's like <laughs> I don't uh, get grant money. I'm How do you fund it? Very barely. <laughs> very barely. <laughs> very barely. <laughs> very barely. Yes. Um, occasionally, I I do receive some funding from the mayor's office, but I am loath to accept it. Um, I don't like taking money away from important things. Oh. What but you do isn't important? <laughs> well, more important things, you know, food and shelter for oh. for people okay. less fortunate than, than myself. Anyway, I'm getting carried away. I have a question. Do you have any family? He goes, uh, nah, no. Okay. I don't. Okay. No. Like, That's what I thought. <laughs> Just curious. He's like, I, my, my parents, I I suppose are, are still around. Let's not to not to forget them. Um, they live in Beaversby. Um, Beaversby. But no, I don't have any like immediate family. Okay. I'm a single <laughs> single proton, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You just remind me of another doctor we met. Oh, very very well. Uh, I don't know. I suppose all doctors are the same. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, wh- what tests do you do in addition to battles? I do um, raw power tests. I do tests of speed and agility. Um, sometimes we play hide and seek. <laughs> how fast the Pokemon can find their trainers based on scent and other ways. Um, that's more of a game. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you wanna for fun see days. what Violet and uh, Bang can do at each other? Similar HP. How many? Similar it's, style. Are, are, is there something that you're looking at in terms of battling? Like, can we do three on three? Can we do two on two? Is are you looking for just one on ones? I've never considered doing it. Th- three battles at once. Wow. That would be an alarming amount of data. Is that too much? No. No, try. let's do it. No. We must do yeah. okay. 3v3. Let's do it. Triple battle? Sure. A triple battle. Let's I like that. It. You should put that on a t shirt. <laughs> you guys in t shirts. People, yeah, stuff. their t shirts. All about We're making all that extra side. T shirts are big business in one of the Apparently. <laughs> Inspiring entrepreneurs always say that. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah, I liked it. That's funny. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Do you want us to do a double? Now for I'm your, down to do whatever you want. For your data, I'm happy to pay you for each Pokemon that you use. Triple yep, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like triple me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so are we, should we just square up? We're on the battlefield now, or we'll just roll you initiative? Can, you may square up on the battlefield, yes. Okay. Square it up. Let's go. It's going to be interesting to watch our hound doors go at each other. Violet's up first. Okay. For the purposes of battle, Matt, you're the violent decent. Okay, I figured. Um, Get it! I'm assuming. Well, that was the thing I was debating. But I guess I. Move this closer to you guys. Yeah. Two. Um, 
It'd be silly not to with how weak she is. So I'm gonna fly. What is that one? That's crash. That's crash. What's that right? one? Crash. Well, I have crash is blue but in the middle. Do whatever okay. you want. That's fine. No, that's yeah. fine. That's your hound door. That's a bang. Sure. Okay. I'm gonna go up and violet. Come at me, bro. And then uh, come at me, bro. Thank you. And I'm gonna comet punch for two attacks. Nice <laughs> word. With a 18 to hit and a 14 to hit. So hits. Boom. So I only do a 2d3. Three. Wow. Four damage. Wow. Pretty good. I'm at five now. Yeah. All right, your turn. So then it's uh, it's I'm my hound right? Yeah. You're just gonna like okay. punch yeah. me in both of them. Right now. Um, <laughs> in the one punch. I can't get it's over there. Dang it. All right, we'll just we'll square up here. Houndor versus Houndor. Interesting. Um, White howl, right? Yeah, I'm gonna howl. Howl. I'm howling. He's howling. My next. Yeah, my next bite will be a D10 instead of a D8. Okay. Okay, and then that's how do we square off the tide? Um, who's tied? Monty and uh, Bang or no. Houndor? Houndor. My Who has a higher dexterity? And plus zero. So, so is my uh, the number. <laughs> Mine's the eleven. Same, so I mean it's, I, I didn't write it down differently. Yeah, they're both eleven dex. Yes. Then <laughs> perform your attacks at the same time. Fantastic. Holy Toledo. Okay, okay so cancel each other out. Monty and this thing do it. <laughs> Monty and your Houndor. Nothing happens. Alright. Just roll attacks at the same time. All right, so let me know when you know what you're going to do. Uh, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to think about it for a second. <laughs> you, like, send notes to Drew. <laughs> like, all right, he's doing this, he's doing that. Like, shit! <laughs> Can you move diagonally on the battle map or no? No. Okay. What's the speed for the hound doors? Well, the Joel's, I assume, is a little different than mine. Joel's? Joel's with the broken leg is 15. And each square's 5? Each square's 5. Okay. So I guess I technically couldn't have made it. Well, I, I howled anyway, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll just be there and I howled. Let me check this. Kind of the busty leg. The Kenny leg. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. Okay. 3, 2, 1, speak. I'm not moving. I'm moving towards Violet. Okay. You doing fire thing? Yep. I'm whipping up a whirlwind, attempting to. Okay, make a nature check. Check in nature. Thirteen. Thirteen? You have begun to whip up a whirlwind. Okay. <laughs> whip, whip. I'm gonna fire fang it. Fire it. What uh -oh. are you doing with your whirlwind? Oh, can I do it now? I thought it was like a two turn thing. No, it's a one turn okay. thing. Okay, oh, there's two checks to okay. succeed. Can I um, try to. While while the hound door's moving, like hit, hit it with the slashes, slashy bits. Okay. If that's not fair, I'll go for something else. Uh, I'll say because you guys are going at the same time, yes. But if you kill the hound door, it will still get to do its. Attack. Okay, fair enough. So, uh, how do I do that now? Because I've. So now you roll an aerial ace attack. How, how do I? Does roll twenty see if it hits? Mm -hmm. Do I make sort of bonus to that? Nope. Okay. An eleven. Nope. So as the air slashes oh. are coming out, just not quite. Okay, so close. It's worth a shot. Here comes my He's attack at Violet. That's not gonna hit. It's a four. Four hound door. So. Coming in for a bite. Not quite. Just a oh. big whiff. All right. Be great. Just doing an entire fight, but crash should have won already. See everything. It's Cause crash was a thirteen. Who is yeah. the one? The one. It's bang. Oh, okay. Violet, Joel's hound door, crash, Monty. Jordan said, oh, yeah, go ahead. I should have won already. Whatever. Um, it's all good. Uh, Crash is going to try to bite Pilot. Hopping around the other side? Yeah, how does he get there? Oh, yeah, he's in the middle. I keep thinking he's that one. Uh, <laughs> so that just bang, though, right? No? Yeah. It's fine. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go here. Crash is going to try to bite your hound door. Okay. Four 
19. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'll definitely hit. Here it comes! Yeah, Crash just hates hound doors. Yeah, for real. It's true. Uh, five. Five damage? Yep. And a belly. Now it's Bang's turn. Belly! Uh, Bang's gonna try to... Let's see. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Uh, Bang's gonna have Fury Swipes. Nice. Okay. At Violet. Okay. He so roll a d4. Four. Four. Just the d4, that's right. Start there. So two attacks. Two attacks. And you roll the 20 to see if they hit. Alright, alright. Here we go. <laughs> uh, nine doesn't hit. Ooh. And that one is 11. So one barely hits. hits. Oh, I was so oh. just a d4. Yeah. One. One. One damage. Violet's <laughs> training coming in handy. Scratch. So is Crash. Oh. Scratch the bruise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't break skin, but it kind of hurt. It's got like that. You're, you're improving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're back to the top. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. So at around. the end of the first round, Simon goes on the intercom and she goes, This battle's very exciting. I'm getting a lot of good data. Keep it up. <laughs> we'll do. We'll do. Nerd Thanks. now. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. Alright, so it's, it's Violet. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I gotta believe I'm recording this. Alright, Violet's gonna go for another. Oh, she's gonna focus energy because she's not gonna move. And then okay. um, she's gonna go after Bang again. For is up. All right. For another two hits. Here we go. Who's she punching? Bang right. for an eight. God. And a seventeen. One hit. One hit. For three damage. Oh, oh nice. Nice. big hits. All right. Make it count. Bangs at two. Oh boy. So that puts us at um, Monty. It's all handled. Oh, okay, my hand. Broke. Monty, that, another one tie. Okay. Is it, is it, is it the tie, or was that where Crash was No, supposed no, to be? this, it goes Houndor, then, then, then Crash, crash then, then Monty. And, too. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, <coughs> okay, so, um, Houndor, oh, boy. Uh, he, he, sh- he, I, I Houndor, tried. yeah, he's gonna try to bite Crash. Oh. Well, you got that advantage. Critical mistake, but. Start chipping away that HP. For a uh, god, nine to hit. Nope. It's not gonna oh. do it at all. I am close. That oh. sucks. You mean How bang. wasted? You mean bang? No. Is your bite bang? Oh. oh, that's yours. That's god damn it. This is so confusing. Jordan, <laughs> this is confusing the shit out of me. Oh, you're so <laughs> stupid. Doesn't matter. Moving on. Yeah, no, it's a crash. In retrospect. Yeah. That's <laughs> two red turn. dice and two blue dice. Yeah. Um, and a blue horn. All right, crash is gonna try to tee it. I will bite the hound door. Better. Okay. <laughs> nope. It's a seven. Not quite. All right, Mr. Monty. All right, Monty. Slash other hand over. Uh, Monty's going to do the same thing. He's going to try again. Nice. Okay. Whip up another whirlwind. So nature, yeah? Whipping yep. up nature. <laughs> For uh, 11. Okay. Got a substantially weaker one, but he's got a little bit of a whirlwind going. Okay. Um, then he's gonna do it again to the Hound door. Okay. Do I roll the hit again? You do. Okay. Yes. For 18. Nice. That'll hit him. So what do I roll for? Damage. 2. D. 6. Dang. Big hits. 5. Damage. Um, my Houndor is gonna try and fire Fang again at Violet. Need more battle Eight. descriptions, Drew. Uh, eleven. They're working oh, so oh, man. Sweet. They just roll. <laughs> Here comes Here. ten. Here comes no. a five, Fang. Nine. Dead. Oh, oh wow. Nine. Jesus. Yeah. I'll describe. Who's out? Violet. 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 She's dead already. Right? Boom. Yeah. Oh. They're, oh yeah, she took that one. They're not put it. Yeah, for one damage. <laughs> I know. Is so Violet exactly. squaring off with with Bang? 
uh, the hound door just runs <coughs> up from the side and just sinks its fiery fangs uh. right into the right into the carapace. Next try, Violet. You can call her back. <laughs> Frick! <laughs> Bang now? Interesting Pokeball noise. <laughs> like when How, what's, what's Bang's movement? It's six. Everyone gets six okay. first, so you can make it. Okay, there. okay. Um, uh, Bang's gonna go in for a karate chop. Alright. Look at this squad just the hound door. On the hound door. Yeah. Uh, what is that? 11. Doesn't hit. Nope. Hoo boy! <laughs> Top of the round again. <laughs> Dr. Reese over the intercom. Oh, that's. That was that was gruesome. Wow, wow. Um, keep, keep 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 it up. Just try not to kill each other. <laughs> keep it up. Uh, so it's with the violet out. It's Houndor's turn, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So Houndor's gonna try to bite uh, Bang. Bite the Bang. Bite the Bang. For a twenty to hit. Oh, he a bit of him. So if I did howl and. Does it affect me still now, or was it that one next one and I blew it? It was your next one and you blew it. Okay, just making sure. Let's see what that damage Take is. Take him out. Nope. Are you serious? Yeah, He's still alive. alive. Oh my god. One bang. HP left. Are you serious? Yep. Oh. He too had two. Just keep in <laughs> mind. Come on. Keep in mind Mankey's ability. Oh yeah, that's right. He's super tentative. What? <laughs> With his bite? Oh. What is happening? <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so now it's Monty. More like a it nibble. Is crash. Oh, yeah, yeah. Crash. Um, yeah, Crash is <coughs> again. What's Bang's ability? Uh, when Bang's you're point. taking damage, he crits on a 19 to a 20. Oh, okay. And I believe. He deals an extra die of damage. Deals extra die of damage. Ooh, that's rough. If he's not at max. Separate points. from the 19 to 20? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's good. So like Fury Swipes does 2d4. Alright, Crash is just going to try to bite again. Potentially fine. In theory, it could do 10. 10d4. Yep. Potentially rocky for 14. 17. Yep. For who? 17. For, uh, Crash is going to bite her. Houndor? Crash bites Houndor. That's 9. He's dead. For 9. Oh! oh two down. Get out! Oh my god. There's Monty. nothing Crash loves more than biting Good Houndor. battle. Than biting Houndor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sink his <laughs> two down. down. Monty. 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 Get it. Monty's up. Yeah. Monty Monty's up. is gonna fly over here and he's gonna try to whip up another whirlwind and keep his distance. Okay. For a nine. That is not enough. Yet. As Monty's trying. Oh, no. It looks like he's getting tired trying to just web yeah. up all these whirlwinds. Yeah, he does. And the as the games would say, the whirlwind peters out. <laughs> this is where when Peter my hound door. Yup. Okay. How's this work? Is Monty in the air? Okay. Nope. So then my hound door is gonna run up. Um there and go for a fire fang. Here we go. Yup. Yep. Uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> Portable. Uh -oh. D10 never yeah, wins a fight. Oh, that was good for you though. Only one damage. Here come the other ones. <laughs> yeah. Um, can they get all the Bang's turn now? The bank or Crash can. Well, that's good. Um, can you Crash throw Bang? Yeah. Okay. Um, what the heck? Should have Bang throw Crash? I guess I could do that. But uh, yeah, if 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 what Bang does that, can I still run up to? He can move, yeah. Okay, but, that's but I won't be able to attack. His that's action fine. is to throw. Okay, then I'm gonna do that. Crash. He's gonna throw Crash. How far can he throw Crash? Do I have to do a check yeah, or something? Yeah, we're gonna find out. Okay, make a strength check. Strength check. Come on, Bang. That's not very far. Five. Um. Yeah, five. You're able to throw him five feet. Okay, so from where he is? From where he is. To, okay, that's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't move diagonally? You 
cannot move diagonally, okay. but you can be thrown into any of the orthogonal squares. So any of these? It's around, around bang. So, oh, okay, so I could move him to there? You could. Okay. Um, you get the potential to just huck him across the arena. <clears throat> Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, okay. More just to pick then, him up and set him down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, I got you. No, 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 no. Too heavy. Too heavy. Bang him. Move. Move there. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Top of the round. Dr. Reese comes in again. He goes, uh, Milo, not to discourage you, but try to do a little better. <laughs> Thank you. I need some slightly better data. Thanks. Some wow. Slightly better data. Crash is Plenty getting excited. Dr. Reese is. And he's running up boy. to Monty uh, for a bite. Turning into a rude boy. Four. 22 to hit. Wow. That doesn't hit. That is seven coming at Monty. Oh boy, you got this, Monty. Monty. <coughs> you got this, Monty. Can I fly up? You can. Okay, you're gonna take two attacks of opportunity on the way I'm up. Flying up? Unless you use your action to disengage and then fly up. No, let's, be able no, to attack let's get some. After. Let's get some better data. <laughs> well, it up. Uh, trying to knock my boys back. Let's, um, let's, he's pushing a corner. We're going to try again. We're going to make a whirlwind. Nice. Okay. God, so close. Uh, what are we doing, nature? So it'd be 11. That is one above your DC. Okay. So you are able to wave up a whirlwind. Okay. Go. Woo! Um, shoot poops. Um, I want to use it for like cover slash speed and like go with it up. Okay. And then use the rest of my movement to go like that way. Okay. And be so up. So you're using it as a defensive. Move. Yes. Okay. You're so gonna increase your armor class by two. Okay. Wow. And your speed by ten. That's sick. Okay. Nice. Damn. So and then can I? So if I go up like two, I can move four. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, so I'll go yes. one, two, th I'll be here. They do still the get to attack you. On you the way up? Armor class. Yes, if you leave their sphere of influence, they get to swing at you. I just figured I was making the whirlwind as a cover. But all right, go ahead. So well, that's Try to hit me. Because you've got bonus AC. Try to hit me. Crash and Houndor are both making an attack? Mm -hmm. Try to hit me. Okay, so what if you just make an attack and do it? Or, okay, so all Crash right. is going to go for bite. That's 10. And Houndor is going to go for fire fang. Nope. Yes. Oh, Mark Good. Woo! Monty's fine. <clears throat> Alright, so Monty's up in the air. How was that data, Reese? He goes, very good. Keep it up. I like it. He's in nice. the air. He's it's in good. the air. Get another one. He's too high. That's true. Off the body of his comrades. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, Violet. <laughs> <laughs> So that was just Monty's turn. That was Monty's Which turn. Which means it's my Houndor's turn. It is your Houndor's turn. Yes. Okay. He's not gonna be able to do anything because he's in the air, right? You try to jump. Yeah. How high can he jump? You can find out. Not high enough. Um, no, I have actual rules for how high you can jump. Nice. Not really? Do you? can jump three feet plus your strength modifier in the air. And how high in the air is Monty? 20 feet? He's 10, 10, 10 feet, feet up in the air. So if you can get within five four. feet, you can swing. It's only four though. You're so close. So no. Um, my Hounder is gonna run over to Crash and bite him on the tail. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Try to hype him up. Okay. Right, this is for you. Let's go. Let's finish this. Now, Nord kind of runs down as Totodile's watching Monty fly over, just <laughs> sinks the fangs into the tail. Crash just goes. Just like this. It backfires. Crash just kills your hound <laughs> We'll see. I'm curious. <laughs> uh, it's Bang's turn. <clears throat> it's hound biting Crash. What about Does bang? Crash? Does take difference for that? Bang? As far as jumping goes? Because he's basically a monkey. He's a monkey. Well, what's his strength modifier? Plus one. Plus one? That's it? Wow, I should have given him more. Um, Isn't his dex really high? Nope. 
It's a plus one. Right. He's not. He's not that good. His attacks are cool, but he could try to jump off of something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But so also, does cool does Crash take rain. damage from the Hound oh, fight? Yeah. How much? Roll your attack. For, oh. for for the hound door, mm-hmm. so you're biting. Them. So it's an attack. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be an attack. Uh, so do I just <laughs> do the damage? Think? You're yeah. biting his tail. Okay. That's fine. Eight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, backfired catastrophically. It's fine. He's still at fifteen. Um. Okay. Why is this so high? Jesus. Yeah. Um. Is jumping from multiple spaces away even gonna do anything? No. This is what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> um. Do you have like a another like a non-attack thing? What's no. the thing for crash? Yeah. It's weird, which yeah. I can do, but. It's not his turn, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. It's Bang's turn. Gotcha. Bang can't really do much at this point. Um, I'm just going to move him to here. And I can't get to him, right? Currently, no. So then there's nothing that I can really do. You can hold an action. So if before Bang's next turn, if Monty is brought into his sphere of reach, he can attack then. All right, that's what I'll do. Hmm. That is a thing you can do. It's a cool thing. Now it just crashes turn. Um, who's currently got a hound door just sinking into his tail. Yeah. Um, What's his strength modifier? Crashes? It's plus three. Oh shit, so he could easily get to him. Um, Crash is gonna move and run at uh, Bang and hope for an assist to have Bang help him up to get to Monty. Okay. Um, okay, okay. Is that the, the whole hold an action thing and I can do that now? You, you're holding an attack. Okay. Um, so can Bang throw Crash at Monty? On Bang's turn. Okay. So, can, try. can Crash jump off of Bang? That would be an acrobatics check. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Alright. <laughs> You're gonna Crash jump off Bang? So that's yeah. strength then? That's just dexterity. Dexterity. Foot to the forehead okay, that's and right. leaping off of him. And then Bang's dead. 16! 16. 16. As Crash is just standing there with like blood dripping down his tail, he just looks at Bang kind of thwacks his tail over the ground, jumps up, just kicks off Bang's forehead, and is currently in range. Okay, I'm going, going for take, going for a bite bang take damage? on Monty. <laughs> He's dead now. He fainted. Oh, God. That's a one. A oh, one. one. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, still, no. As Monty <clears throat> is just sort of up in the air, and Crash leaps off Bang's forehead. Crash goes up to bite, and Monty just... One good gust of wind just sends Crash tumbling back to the ground. That's about right. Crashy boy, you take five points of bludgeoning damage as you land, knocking the wind out of yourself. Cool. <laughs> Monty might do this yet! <laughs> Monty, make a concentration check. 20. Oh. Oh. You are able to stay in the air. Oh. <laughs> That's it, and I, uh, am you I still take your turn. Okay. There's not a whirlwind though, right? I used it to get up. Use that okay. to get up. Well, I'm gonna try to keep it up, so I'm gonna do another one. Get some practice on this move in here, that's for sure. For a four. LOL. As Monty's trying to stay airborne. With all the stress of the battle and how many times he's tried to use this whirlwind, this new move that he's just getting used for to. Sure. Uh, he starts to descend. Okay. Slowly but surely, but he's now only five feet up. Okay. Can he still move without taking an attack of opportunity because he's high up? Um, technically, because Bang could jump and reach him, no. Okay. Well, then it is what it is. Good boy. And I can. Can I still attack then? Yeah. Okay. So I will try to peck Bang. Get him. 
for a 14 to hit. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. He's going to be gone. Bang, bang. Five He's HP. Bang's gone. Bang. Bye, bye, bang. Oh, bang as oh Bang's ready God. with the karate bang. chop, as Monty's lowering down, he's like, yeah! And he jumps up to get him, and Monty just Pack. hits him <laughs> in the forehead. <laughs> right in the face. Jesus. Right between the eyes. So now can I move? Yes, because Crash is prone. Okay. That's so many things. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's Safe moved to try and stay in the air. That, yeah, a that's... whirlwind, an attack, and a movement. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Jesus. <laughs> well, that's great. Um, so that's my Houndor's turn then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, just gonna start moving over there. <laughs> there we go. Crash's turn. <laughs> Crash's turn. Um... So Crash needs to get up from prone. So what's that? Half his movement. Fantastic. You could have Crash trying to make his own Yeah, work. can you do that? You can always try. I'm going to try. Um, He's better in the heat of the moment. How, how much um, does Lear have to be within a certain distance of the what opponent? So, so I could do that. You could. Um, Who's there? No, nah, I'm going to try to do... Have him make his own water. Nature check. You got this. Here we go. I got this. Thirteen. Thirteen. As Crash has been bit in the tail, he's been knocked prone. He's fallen from great heights. As he stands up, just furious, he just and just water starts to spew forward. Does 13 beat Monty's armor class? No. Well, it depends. Do I still have my boost from... You do not. Okay, that that your... it, it, I believe it meets it. Okay. Yes. Then you, sir, may deal a 1d4 cold damage. 1d4 cold damage. Alright, here we go. There's two. As this is the first time he's successfully done this attack. <laughs> the water comes bursting you're 13? out. 13? Yeah. What? I thought you were at 5. Oh, you're right. Or eight, or whatever oh, that six. is. You're right. <laughs> I was like, how did you heal? Yeah, what? <laughs> what? Monty heals from the air. Just every turn gets five HP back. <laughs> Sweet. Turn, he's just been doing yes. that all the time. how this works, right? Make another one. Just try it. I can't, I can't afford to get close. Okay. So. You are currently at disadvantage on the check. Dang. Monty is veering towards exhaustion very quickly. So eight. Eight. Okay. Monty is now on the ground. He on the ground. It is just like Did not exhausted. Alright, so then he's gonna he's just gonna close it up then. Um and uh blah 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 blah. Um yeah, I guess I'll just peck hound or try to. For an 18 to hit. Yep. For 8 damage. Wow. Oof. He's got one left. <laughs> <laughs> he was at 9. Bring him to Ooh. 1. Goodness gracious. Oh my wow. god. Here we go. It's Houndor's turn. Houndor's going He's for a fire fang. Pecked in the forehead. He's pissed. That is a 19. Yep. Uh, no, sorry, 18, but Still here really comes matter. the damage. Here comes the d10. That's six. Dead. Got him. As Monty falls. Boom! The fangs fight. sink in as Monty drops. As Dr. Reese comes over the head and goes, CJ, well done. That was a good fight. Uh, Milo, interesting tactics with the flying in the air. Thank would've, you. Would have thought that worked, but you were close. You did, you did good. Real close. I need Violet to take more than one hit. Both did very well. <laughs> Crash has jumped onto yeah. the Hounder's back and is now they're like riding and jumping around. Excellent. Nice. Excited. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, well, I, Monty or Milo, being bummed but not surprised that he's still defeated <laughs> and has yet to win a battle, 
or calls his Pokemon in and heads back out to the lobby. I'm following. Calling back Houndor. And, well, Bang's already back. I guess I didn't say that, but... Nice work, CJ. <laughs> you too, dude. You did it. It was a good battle. There you go. You got me scared there <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> but this is what I figured would happen. I don't if believe I fought, that. <laughs> if I fought a flying-type Pokemon. Monty. Yeah. <clears throat> Five. Add that to your maximum hit points. Oh, nice. Six. Sick. Oh, God. Astonish. Uh-huh. Now deals 1d4 plus 1 bludgeoning damage. Nice. On a 4 or a 5, the target is at disadvantage on its next attack roll or saving throw. Wow. Dang. Okay. I got a lot. So I got 5 HP, right? Mm -hmm. so that's he got Plus your constitution modifier. Oh, Sick. add that on top? Yep. So he's at 22. Nice. And then Astonish does one d four plus one. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Add and then four or five. Four or five. It's just their disadvantage. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, the roll or a second. Like well, in addition to the okay. eighteen HP instead. He's a little shield. Yeah, it'd be great. <laughs> Salud. Bishu. Thank you. Level up. <coughs> disadvantage. 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 Cool. Curious this to see what the XP that Crash got for fighting those three houndors was. Like Probably a shit ton. <laughs> Probably like a lot. Number. It was. It was a good number. <laughs> it was very good. <clears throat> so, uh, Phoebe. Yeah. Do you want to follow up their triple battle with a double battle? Yeah. Uh, First, I'm gonna give them a pep talk. Yeah. Uh, like, listen, Doc, Dr. Reese? Yeah. Uh, I'm curious if maybe you have <laughs> battle items that could make uh, William here maybe a little bit more battle ready for uh, facing off against my Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> so he's uh, not immediately out. Maybe like an, ass out. an assault vest to beef up his 8 a HP. Tiny shield. <laughs> he's like, well, I have this experimental bracelet. I'd be happy to lend it to you. Okay. Here, put this on. Put this on the. Here you go, oh, William. Guy. I'm like, William's gonna be excited. William's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little green, like, coiled band. Almost looks like a tiny snake, and it just sort of fits loosely around his little hand. Ever. What? What is it? It's a macho brace. Okay. Macho brace. I think it was the effects are sort of untested, so you know, data. <laughs> All right. Data. As for now, the two of you, uh, I um, I owe you some some funding for your. Assistance. That means each of you nine dollars. Oh, oh money. God. Yeah, let's go. <gasps> Rowan is I've a never had money before. <laughs> <laughs> CJ so I've only had rocks. I'm gonna trade in my nine dollars for rocks. This is sick. <laughs> you made rocks you can buy with nine dollars? All of the rocks? Probably like a couple. You can buy a All third right. of a bag of dog rocks. Yeah. So I'll take a third of dog rock. Just one regular rock. Oh, I guess one of those could be. I'll do Mortar and Evan Rude. I'll okay. do the white one with the gold letters for Centret. Centret? This one? Are you yeah. going to interview me now? Or do you want him? Dr. Reese is like. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, certainly. The interview, I almost forgot. Um, how, what is your, your battle style? I couldn't help but notice your Pokemon tend to do a lot of infighting and they still seem to win. Yeah, I think that the Houndor was like trying to hype up Crash, but it didn't seem to work the way that he thought it was going to. I've never seen him do that before, but this is also the first time that they've fought together. So that's that nice. makes sense, I guess. Maybe I should get some uh, water out. Crash sort of just goes all out and just tries to take everything down as much as possible. Yes, and I don't know that any of them have actually battled together before, so that was the first time they actually worked together. It was an intriguing attempt to throw the the totodile. Was it typically known for being heavy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bang's pretty beast, though. I thought he could maybe do it. <laughs> Got him off the ground a little bit. It was an interesting attempt, to be sure. Now then, let's let's watch your friends. Let's battle. do it. Let's see how they do. Right. Roll on initiative. Go ahead and roll initiative for all of your dudes. Here we go. Do we know what the Macho Brace did for William? No, not yet. yet. Okay. It is as of yet untested. William's a god! That'd be sick. Fuck. 
Okay. Yeah, gross. Mortars thirteen, then uh, nine for William, and then three for and then Six for Yanma. So it would go mortar Mar- William, William, Yanma, Nubster, Nubster. That's a nice little trade back. Well, nice what is back and eight forth. HP? <laughs> All right. So mortar goes Just first. Oh no, here we go. Mortar's gonna murder us. It's the same thing with the six movement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, What was he trying to do? Versus his pickpocket ways in the worst possible. Just take out (laughs) William immediately. (laughs) Well, I can't get to William. Uh, Alright, well, I'm gonna have. Mortar close the gap on Nubster okay. and go for a fire punch. Oh okay. boy. Ten will miss. Nubster's <sighs> eyes Ooh, go Nubster. wide as Mortar's flaming Nubster. arms just close in the gap and he's like, oh! you can and do just it, Nubster. tumbles out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> just does a roll. <laughs> Barrel rolls, love it. <laughs> William. Okay, William. Make a strength um, check. A oh, what? Strength check. For William? Yes. Eleven. Okay, yeah. Your attacks are at advantage for this round. Oh. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Let's see. What, what is... Is any more than 18? No. Okay. What about, uh... Avonrude is yeah. 16 HP. But they both have the same AC. We have a long way ahead of us, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Okay, um, I'm gonna have William. Isn't isn't everyone able to do this for his quick attack? It says he can move before attacking. Doesn't everyone do that? No, you can. But you can move his speed as part of the attack yeah, and then move. Yeah, it's not his movement. Yeah. Oh, so, so okay. He can, so he yeah. can, like, okay. so he can dart that. in, Hit do an attack, and do okay. movement. I'll do that. I'm going to do a... Quick attack yeah, on Yama. Should I do a Yama on mm-hmm. um, Your call, battle. Yeah. So we'll, do it, we'll do it on Yama. Okay. Nice. All right, William. Quick attack. Quick attack. Get him. What was the advantage I'm at right now? You're at it's advantage. just advantage. Oh, roll okay. it twice. <laughs> roll it twice. Eleven. That's fifteen. So that's fifteen. Nice. Fifteen. Yeah, that hits. Gonna get him. Okay. Right. Roll that damage. Duty four. Woo. Duty four. Like it. Four. Ye. Four. Ye. Eight damage. Max. Good <laughs> job, William. As William right. just instantly closes the gap. You watch as he develops like little biceps on the way. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> just kind of like gorilla pounding his way over, and he just, bam, just clocks Evan Rude right between the the many many eyes. Sure, like crit, just one shot the Anma. Did <laughs> half his HP. Yeah, yeah, like, so I like, regret giving you that. And you can you can move because yeah. you haven't done your movement. That's true. If but you, you lie, take an you attack. Take an attack on the from way. Oh, yeah, I would. True. Yes. So now it's Yanma's turn. It's Evan Rude's turn. Evan Rude. Okay. Uh, Evan Rude is going to double team. What does that do? Uh, if Yanma doesn't move, all attacks made against it are at disadvantage. Okay. So since I'm not moving, I'm going to use double team. Okay. And you're now at disadvantage you if you like try and attack back him. And, forth so fast, it looks like and then to he's going to go for a wing attack on William after okay. getting popped in the eyeball. <laughs> What's this called? Wing attack? <laughs> Four... Ten. No! As, uh, he's just gonna, barely! <laughs> as Evan is just whipping up a little storm of his own having watched Monty, um, William's just sitting there going... <laughs> he's so just psyched right now. dodging everything. <laughs> William, for the first time, seems focused. <laughs> Sick! <laughs> The, the bracelet's Stop, just William. injecting Adderall. Oh, it's all bracelet. <laughs> He's high on speed. So now it's to mortar. It's nubster. No, it's, it's to nubster. Oh, right, right. 
Nubby boy. All right, Nubster. Nubster, the only Pokemon in this fight that is immune to flame body. If I can, I do Odor Sleuth and then yes. yeah, go for. It's a ranged attack. Oh. What? In that regard. Yeah, I sure. Yeah. You're gonna do Odor Sleuth and yeah. get advantage. Are you gonna ice shard him? You're gonna take out Evander. That's probably the best bet. Alright, alright, Nubster. Let's can Nubster attack Evan Root where he's at? I can move him, can I? You can take a hit from Yeah, you'd have, to, you'd have to get a little closer okay. to accurately hit him. You'd be at disadvantage you on your move. roll, but you're at advantage from Odor so it would be a straight roll, but he is. you're at disadvantage on attacks against him, so you'd be at disadvantage. Oh, yeah. So there's a I'm lot of double teams. There's so a lot of things in there. I'm just going to hit more of them. There's okay. a lot of things that blend you. Yeah. Advantage. Advantage. You disadvantage with the advantage and the advantage and the disadvantage. Roll again, roll again. Odor <laughs> 14. 14. That hits. Woo! D6. Plus one. Five. Nice. Five. Good ouch. Ouch. That little ice shard just like sinks into mortar and slowly melts. You can see it left a solid bruise. It's torso. Not great. It's just a mortar Alright, mortar's gonna oh God. try and pop back with oh a God, fire Nubster. punch on Nubster. Nubster! Hang in there, buddy! 18 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Yep. Nubster, I believe in you! Just uh, gonna. Just say those things. Uh, eight damage. Still up. Woo! He's still up. As the clapback comes down <laughs> hard, the big flaming arm just smacking into Nubster. He's like, I've been through worse. I lost half my nose. <laughs> I can take it. Alright. It's William's turn. William! Unless Mortar wants to move. Um. Yeah. I'll go. When you take an attack? Yeah. You would. You would take an attack to move. No, but I'm not going to. Okay. Okay. So William's turn? William's turn. He's going to do another quick attack. Okay. It didn't. Make a strength check. A strength check? Mm -hmm. Okay, make a strength check. Strength check. 18. 18. Your attacks are an advantage this round. Oh! So, freaking you make one place. attack. So, I, what? You, because he's, he's, a, he's putting you at disadvantage. Because I'm at but double you're taming. Oh. So. So, so you it's a straight you're making a regular Because you're at advantage, but I'm putting you at disadvantage, right. so it's straight up! Come on, William. It's plus four. Nine, Nine. Nine does not hit. Nine. Oh. As William's <laughs> kind of riding high on the confidence of his last round, he's like, ha ha, just punches right into one of the blurred Yamas, and okay. it just sort of <laughs> ships over, and he's like, what? <laughs> How? What? Evanrude's turn oh, no. unless William wants to run away. No. Okay, so Evanrude is gonna go for another double team to reactivate his clone and then go for another wing attack on William. William! For a 20 unnatural. Max, I'm rolling your dead. And that does 6. Damage. He lives. To left, he lives. You can do it. <laughs> I'm not uh, uh, he's gonna go for another ice shard. Come on, dumpster. On um, mortar. Yeah. So twelve. Fifteen. That hits. Woo! Come on, dumpster. Five. Solid, Solid damage. They're both at 8 HP. You're doing well. This is a solid battle, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Against all odds. This is actually... This is crazy. No, it's Mortar's turn, yeah. Now yeah, Nuncer's gonna be punched to death again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his hair. Yeah, after taking another Ice Shard to the dome, he's gonna <laughs> fire up that arm and go for another Fire Punch. Get a... Uh, 13. Oh god, Ooh. it hits. Okay. Um, I really needed you to avoid that dumpster. Yeah, that, that hurts. 
nine damage. He's Rip. dead. Oh. oh, one over. As the fire punch Sorry, comes back bad. down, Nubster just sort of Good job, Nubster. <laughs> and then I'll move. William's turn. Make it happen. It's William's, William's turn. Strength check. Strength check. Advantage. What's that? That is a 19. Advantage. 20. Advantage on your attack. Advantage. But neutral if you Straight attack. Straight roll rude. But if you hit mortar, you'll take damage. If I hit mortar, I'll take yes. damage? Yeah, it's, it's a flame it's body. A flame body. Fuck. It'll kill him. So it's either a straight <laughs> up roll against... Yeah, I'll, I'll just good. try to... You just gotta crit mortar and then take each other out after you kill Leon. So 14. That'll hit. So 18. Yeah. 2d4. 2d4. No, what am I doing? Good luck. Not max again, please. Fuck. One. I needed that. I needed the max. So four. 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 Cutting it in half again. It's just. This is a hyper fang or super fang? Yeah. Kill them though. If you're technically, yeah, always doing half, you can never kill them. Can't die. Alright, is it Evan Root's turn now? It is Evan Root's turn. Good luck, William! Alright, so. You're doing a great job! <laughs> he's gonna go for a double team. You get a dab! And you then did a he's gonna job. go for a bug bite. Bug bite! That's. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 20 unnatural. Oh, snap. That does 2d4. You're quick, but not you got quick, this. William. No, Three. Yep, Bye. Gone board. He's already, Bye. He's dead. As as the pincers just sink into William, he watches the strength sort of fades and he just collapses <laughs> on the ground. That was a good battle. That was. was. Dr. Reese comes over the intercom and so goes, That was incredible. <laughs> that was so good. I got so much data. The Sentra did very well. Never seen he one did. fight with that much ferocity before. It was very good. Thank you. Just needed one of its critical sticks. <laughs> right to ever root's <laughs> eye. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Ow! That's <For> two <laughs> damage. <laughs> you did so much damage. It's ridiculous. Yeah, on that first. <laughs> yeah, well, it did half his health and then half of that, so it took him down to four HP. You have to it. Yes. Roll a d10. Oh! Is that this one? No, yes. <laughs> No, yes. <laughs> no, yes. Yes. Come on, Nubster. Five! Ooh. Add five to Nubster's maximum hit points. Yeah, Let's go ahead, Nubby! Yes, Nubster! Nubby, Nubby boy! Nubby Ice Shark. Boy. Yes. Now deals a 1d6 plus two. Sweet. Sick. Neato. William. Yes. A d4. A d20. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> He gains twenty his HP by thirty. What? How three. Nice. Add three to William's maximum hit points. Sweet. Sweet. Oh. That's awesome. <laughs> he's on par with uh, I don't know. He's more than Violet. Yeah. He's by more he's more than Violet. Bang too. Violet is now the worst. No, right. Bang's the worst. Bang's got nine. Oh. Nine. Jesus. That's rough. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Sand attack. Oh, it's sweet. a dexterity save. DC increases to 12. Ooh. Okay, nice. What was it before? 11. 11. Okay. You would have been 11, 11 with an 11 DC. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's keep it that. <laughs> Sweet. Evan Rude's close, and Mortar's making progress. <laughs> Mortar. Once he does level up, like, I don't know what. He's gonna be able to take it. It's gonna be like 30 HP. Yeah. His armor class is gonna go. I mean, he has five less HP than Crash and two lower AC than Crash. He's far worse. (laughs) Crash is a beast. Crash is just feral. He's feral. It's true. That and you rolled really well on your D10. Yes, I did. (laughs) Sweet. Sick. As you guys sort of exit the chamber. Dr. Reese is waiting for you as you get inside. He's like, Dr. Reese, it was very good. If I could please have the, the bracelet back. Oh, I yeah. know that did some great work. Hold on, I um, gotta get him a berry so I can give it up. <laughs> William! <laughs> He's just like unconscious. He's like... <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> true. That's true. He is unconscious. I forgot. 
right, here you go. As you go to take it off, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> Comes up, back to life. Grabs your wrist and then just <laughs> <laughs> collapses. Oh my god, will it <laughs> So ridiculous. Awesome. Control. So you take the bracelet back. Dr. Reese is like, thank you very much. And he puts it on his own wrist and is like, okay, I have work to do. Interesting. Nice. Do you, you want to interview Belly? Like, yes. That is some of the work I have to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bentley. Um, couldn't help but notice. Sort of dominate in the arena. Um, oh, I, I don't know about that, but all right. Your Pokemon seem to still be standing. <laughs> that, that's true. Yes. What is your battling style? It's a fact. What's your techniques? Uh, I mean, with with mortar, it's usually just brute power. Sometimes I use Mach Punch to speed him up. Uh, Yanma, I'm just learning to fight with him. This is our first battle together. Well, you did very well for a first battle. That Yanma is very powerful. Thank you. I'm beast Yanma. Now then, children, not to rush you out the door, but I have some work to do. Uh, do we get paid? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> how, how silly of me. He hands each of you nine dollars. Yes, yes. He's like, I'm sorry for the strange amounts of money. That's just what I can muster at the moment. It's fine. It's money. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Reese. It's like, yes, of course, children. Uh, I would say come back anytime, but... Uh, don't. Don't. <laughs> sort of. Kind. Uh, call, call first. Why? What's your digits? It's <laughs> like, well, I don't actually have a telephone. Never mind. Stop by anytime. <laughs> we'll just see if I can. Sweet. Help you. Thanks, Dr. Moment. Reese. Thanks, Doctor. Yes, of course. All right. I think we need to go back to the Pokemon Center, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, might be a good idea. <laughs> Feel love. Feel love. Let's go back to the Pokemon Center. Pokemon Center. Let's find a trainer it's that okay. Milo can be. Center. That's I need to find possible. someone I can be. <laughs> lost a while. You could have beat Maggie, probably. She had Butterfree. Yeah, you probably could have beat her. All right, back to the Pokemon. So all three of your Pokemon. <laughs> all of our Pokemon are being healed. Yeah. Are, is uh, is is uh, Officer David and Xavier still? Officer David is still there, but Xavier is not. Okay. Is uh, there anyone else new in this Pokemon Center? Uh, you can see. Yeah, you can see someone that looks to be just uh, like a typical training individual. They're wearing like kind of workout gear. Um, it's a young lady. She's got um, some long blonde hair. It's kind of tied back in a ponytail at the moment. She's currently like encouraging a shuckle. <laughs> nice. Hey, Officer David, you guys okay with street performers in Bolivia? <laughs> it's like, well, it depends what they're performing. What if like somebody were to put on like a wrestling show with their Pokemon? Hypothetically. Yeah. <laughs> Asking for. What a if friend. somebody wanted to do that? Well, I suppose. As long as it wasn't a disturbance, you'd be fine. No, like, it would be a little bit loud, but it wouldn't, like, <laughs> I, we wouldn't do it inside, like, a building or something. We could do it out, like, on the street or, like, near a park or, like, near the, like, agility place. I don't know if a lot of people go near there. Or, like, outside of here would be good, too. It's like, yeah, it, as long as, as long as no one calls me saying you're disturbing the peace, I have no problem if you want to do that. Cool. Good to know. Thanks. <laughs> Not for me. Good to know for a friend. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I'm not. I'm definitely not gonna do that. Just yeah, kidding. It's it's for sure gonna be me. And then you put on a mask. And you're like, Luchador. It's <laughs> for my friend Luchador, not for me. <laughs> um, Phoebe, do you want to ask about the shuckle while we wait? The lady, Doctor. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> is that your shuckle? This is my shuckle. Yes. Nice. Say hello. You can. His name is Noodles. 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 <laughs> the little is the shuckle. Noodles. He's kind of like. <laughs> I like your accent. Where are you from? It's like I am from here. Oh. Cool. It's like Tommy Wiseau. I'm from here. I don't know. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? I have the legitimate business. We're from New Orleans. <laughs> no. I don't think so. No. I'm from New Orleans. I'm from here. Nice. 
What are you What are you doing? I'm killing my other partner. Oh, what else do you have? I have a hit That's cool. That's it. Do you have any badges? Yes, yes, I have one. Is it the one from here? No. Oh, that's that cool. is why I am staying in town. Oh. Okay. I have the verdant badge from Green Gate. Oh. Verdant. Can you tell us what type of gym Green Gate is? I cannot. But you can probably guess. <laughs> I mean, I had a guess, but... From Green Gate? But you can probably guess. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't... Lady, I like the So lady. we know that Xantha is north, Full mm -hmm. is northeast, and Wadalonga is east. Can we get to Green Gate from here? Or do we have to go back? Or is it through another city? She goes, if you were to follow... The roads, then no. But if you were to just trek through the wilderness, I suppose you could get there. Oh boy, that's is that dangerous? Yes. I mean, we were attacked <laughs> by yeah. spiders just on the path. Yeah, that's true. Well, just trekking the through the wilderness with a pack to death. Um, are those all your Pokemon? Uh, hit one top and chuckle. Yes. Because cool. they're all I need. So. Can I do? Confidence. <laughs> I don't think I wrote it down. Do, do we have to go back to the battle hall to like, agree to our trainer thing? Yeah. Our secrecy gym Is circuit the thing? battle hall for that? Dr. Reese that that really did not seem like the kind of person to <laughs> do that. Where do we do that at? Where, what was it yeah. called again? I don't remember. The, the, uh, do you know? She goes, no, I did not agree to the trainer's code in the city. So if they're separate, there's different ones? Yes, one for every gym. Oh. Is Are they required to do the gym? Yes. There's the agility field. Are you waiting to do that? Or are you like not going to do this gym? When Peach is ready, yes. We will do Peach or Hitmontop? Yes. Peach. Peach and Noodles. That's a fun name. It's like a, Peachy a weird noodles. lunch. I very much <laughs> enjoy the names of your Pokemon. Peachy <laughs> Noodles. Uh, have you tried battling this gym yet? No. No. Wasn't talking to you, sir. <laughs> well, you're sure she you said. Yeah. Oh, she did? Yeah. Yes. I was not Pay attention, attention, Bentley. Sorry. Hey, Officer David. <laughs> yeah? Do <laughs> you ever heard of anybody asking, like, trainers or explorers to find Pokemon for them? Sort of like a commission situation where, like, Somebody's like, hey, I want that Pokemon, and then like somebody goes and gets that Pokemon for him and they pay them for it. Uh, or maybe like a trade situation happens. There was a guy passed through here a couple of years ago did that, but I haven't heard anything since. So people don't really care about that sort of situation? Not typically. Okay. Do you have any Pokemon? Yeah, of course I do. Who are your Pokemon? <laughs> I, have, I have a Growlithe and a Zubat. Very cool. Uh, is there is there like a a mart inside the Pokemon <laughs> Center where you buy <laughs> supplies? Uh, yeah, but you'd have to uh, yeah, you'd have to clear the gym first. They don't they don't sell to whoa to outsiders that haven't passed through the gym. Whoa, that's why a lot of people hang out here. Whoa, I miss that. That's a tourist trap. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you right outside conversation. I completely missed that. Did I did no, you can't go to the mart and buy things until you Yeah, I badge. asked if I could buy oh, something snap. in the mart, but you wow. can't unless you have the badge. Well, so you know what you need Pretty to do. exclusive, like an exclusive club. No. No. It's going to be like, club. they're not fond of the rabble getting in. It's going to be like kids outside of Circle K trying to get adults to buy them beer. That's totally what it's going to be. <laughs> can you please buy me a potion? <laughs> no. <laughs> Please, uh, Blair, at least Pokeballs. we know you don't belong Officer to David, so when he shows up, we're like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Officer David! Who buys beer? Just call him <laughs> what? God, call just him kidding. Deacon. Ask Deacon for a badge. I'm just kidding. Hey, so the gold Pokeballs, are those completely just ornamental? They don't have any special abilities? Yeah, no, they're useless. Okay. They're, they ex as far as I'm aware, they have a worse capture rate. Wow. They just cost more? Because yeah. they're pretty? So I have a question follow up to that let's say I were to have or buy a golden pokeball can I transfer a pokemon into that pokeball as far as I know yeah okay Interesting. never tried do you know how expensive they are 
<laughs> Too rich for my blood. If you have to ask, you, you can, can afford. afford. <laughs> <laughs> Quite true. <laughs> Very true in this instance. Do you? Are you here like all the time? Is this your? <laughs> this is your my post. post? Yeah. Okay. This is your beat. <laughs> you work narcotics there, <laughs> Officer David. <laughs> Fair enough. Does that happen often? People mess around. Uh, it's, it's a ritzy town. Kids get bored. Okay. Has anything happened recently? Nothing. Nothing more than Xavier disturbing the peace. Mm. He's my biggest headache. Where do we go to um, sign up for the trainer's code? You know. Uh, well, is it at the gym? You can do it at the gym, or I think the battle hall. There's a doctor who usually hangs around there. Not Doctor Reese. That man's. I mean, it's weird. You stay away from him. Uh, I don't know. Name escapes me at the moment. Okay. There's, There's someone there. there. Someone there. Okay. Okay. That's how I was right. Do you guys want to go to the agility fields behind the gym? Sure. Are our Pokemon done? I don't know, but I'm just spitballing for... <laughs> <laughs> they are now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, uh, a very similar nurse to where to the last uh, center you guys were in, and Oriander walks out with a very jovial Chansey, and just one at a time goes, I have mortar for Bentley, and the little Chansey's like, <laughs> hands it out, and you guys each After get your Pokemon back into the furnace. furnace. Yep. Sweet. Every time. Yeah, boy. Healed up. We got a Pokemon. Um, I want to send out Monty real quick, and, uh, congratulate him on his efforts in the battle since he passed out and I didn't really get a chance to do that. Um, and then also pop by real quick and check out the um, the mail thing by the Pokemon Center mm-hmm. before we go and just kind of show it to him so he can see it and know what it it's, looks like. Yeah, it's not like a complete shock to him. Okay. Um, it's bigger than the Amber Craig uh, coastal area. Mm-hmm. They have like probably two dozen coops of just Pidgeys. Um, there are Pidgeotos stationed on each row, just sort of supervising. Um, there's no people nearby. Do they, so I want Monty's, I want him to hop down, I tell him to go say hi to the other male Pidgeys, see if he recognizes a friend. Um, does, does anybody freak out, or do the Pidgeotos flip out? Uh, the Pidgeotos at first are kind of like, what are you doing? Why mm-hmm. are you messing with our birds? Um, then they recognize Monty, and they're just kind of like, Okay, he's just saying, hey, what's up? Because okay. birds. Okay. They kind of let it happen. Cool. And then uh, if he's good, he's feeling okay, then I'll call him back to my arm. Yeah, he come. seems to be doing okay. okay. He's just meeting up with a couple Pidgeys. Sweet. Thanks, Monty. You can come back now. And Flips then back uh, are we going to go check out the aerial yeah. course? Yeah. Didn't um, what's her face on the path, the one with the Merrill, say that there was like Eliza? Yeah, didn't she say that there was like a giraffe rig farm or something? Yeah, in, it's in a different that's city. In oh, it's in one. New Tree City. Oh, okay. You want a giraffe rig? Yeah. No, I was just wondering if there were other places to explore. I thought no. she said it was here, no, but I didn't write it down, so I don't remember. To the aerial acrobatics, whatever. Agility field. Agility field. Aerial Let's acrobatics. Go it out. What if they have like, like relay races? We could do like, Yanma, William, Monty, bang, bang. and just like four like person Spider-Man relay race. Hoops. Yeah, if he was Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know if that's what it is. It just is agility fields. I don't uh, know if bang it's specific to spider. Be like what? That's <laughs> so sick. That'd be tight. We heard there was a nuclear factory in this town. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna dip, dip a spinner at it. <laughs> dip Mankey? <laughs> Just you see what happens? Fine, he's down. Plug your nose! <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as bad as the sunstone. Yeah. Does CJ yeah, want to uh, set up like a busking wrestling no, thing on the sunstone. sidewalk? And Yeah, where, where are we going? If we, we go, go to the, the, the aerial place. Yeah, we're walking acrobatics. towards the gym and then behind it to the agility field. Is there a decent amount of people around? Let's yeah. fight somebody. Yeah. Still a chunk of people. I'm going to do this, guys. Yeah, let's set up William with his hat so he can collect monetary donations. Yeah. Is, okay. is William down with that? Can you just like jump yeah, around I with his hat? I can't guarantee jump, he'll jump, give the jump money. Around. Let's, let's we'll get it backpack. All right. 
Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that too. Okay. But it'd okay. be cool to have him jump around and like do that. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna put up right. my uh, backpack and um, start yelling to the people around. Hello, Aluvia! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I am Luchador JC, and this is my wrestling show! Me and my Pokemon crash! And I'm gonna throw out bang and bang! And then I'm gonna throw out the hound door and our other homie, who we're trying to figure out his name right now. Um, we're going to wrestle each other, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if you do, great. If if you really like it, give us money. Maybe that would be great, because I don't have any money. money. Yeah, our, our boy William, he's got a chef's hat. He's kind of jumping like around. He's like... he'll, he'll take any <laughs> tips you want. Uh, and we're going to kind of just <laughs> wrestle just each other. Into the hat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna Whatever. Two things. I'm gonna, well, I'm going to send out all my Pokemon as well. I'm going to have uh, Houndor be before and right after he talks, let out a huge howl Sweet. Um, to call some attention. Okay, and then uh, Violet's going to focus energy and fly overhead with her light. Dig it. Okay. That's fantastic. What time is it now, roughly? It's, it's like two later in the afternoon. Okay. I want it in. I like it. What do I want Nubster to come out? Just to hit ice cools together, have it rain? No, so Monty's <laughs> gonna be, no, no, Monty will go up, and, or Violet's up there, shoot him up, and she can punch him, and make him, okay. like, explode like fireworks. Oh, yeah, that's a cool This is so idea. over the top. Right. It's awesome. It's fantastic! I love the fact Give that you guys are in on this. It's amazing. Give me a show. group performance check. Yes! A group performance? What is From the guy? people, or, like, everybody? From one yeah. person. Oh, from oh, one person. Okay. Oh. One person gets a group. You do it. It's your thing. Yeah. How's the crew doing? Yeah, what is performance? Oh, I don't it's know. Charisma. It's charisma. But it's not, a, it's not a negative, so it's positive, right? 11. 11. Okay. Uh, for a bunch of kids, just kind of ramshackle, throwing together a show, you're doing okay. Sweet. Some people are sort of slowing down as they walk by. And you're like, what is happening? We're not going to start the show until we have at least 10 people watching. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be some interest for my boys to perform. <laughs> All right, a, a small crowd starts to yes. show up. They're like, "What is this kid yelling about?" I want to walk out like a couple feet away and be ask people, "Hey, did you hear what that is? We should go check that out. Sounds like something <laughs> weird's oh going God. on over there." <laughs> I'm gonna roll a persuasion. Milo the for two. <laughs> the worst So everybody leaves. You walk up, you're like, "Hey, what's going on?" And everyone's like. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, I want no part of it. Come on, you're gonna enjoy it. It's some entertainment as you, you do, walk to. You do get a small crowd. Yes. I try. All right. We got probably 15 people that are just like, "What is happening?" We're doing this. One of which is Xavier. All right. He's like, <laughs> yes. it's What's symbolic. Man. Should charge Xavier's people to here. arm wrestle bang. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm standing in the middle. Crash is over here. Bangs on the other side, and the hound door's behind me. Um, as I like am hyping everybody up and like not paying attention, Crash is gonna jump up and tackle me, okay. and then Bang's gonna come in um, and like slide kick the hound door, <laughs> 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 and then we're all just starting to go at each all other. Right. As the brawl begins, can I add a little bit of flair? Yeah. So uh, Monty is gonna fly in on Crash and pick him up. So on his jump, it looks like he's going in slow motion, <laughs> just to add a little bit of. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Crash just kind of flames for a second and is like, ah! I like it. Yeah. So this is happening. Just a battle royale. Yep, yeah, we're just all going at each other doing our normal wrestling thing. This is the brawl begins. Xavier's like, yeah! It's symbolic, man! <laughs> Fight it! Fight the powers that be, okay? See how the Pokemon are rising up? It's symbolic, dude. It's huge. I like what you're doing. Keep at it, bro. You should go just distract him. Thanks, just man. talk to him about whatever. Savior? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, conspiracy Why? theories, eh? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Um, while we're doing this, me and the hound door are kind of like circling each other while Bang and Crash are like sort of just going back and forth trying to do their different moves and get all in the heat of battle. Maybe even like a little little bit of training situation happening. Okay. Un, un like, they didn't mean to, but it's sort of turning into that a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's that's what's going on right now. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of chaos yeah. happening. Yeah. Um, a, a slightly larger crowd starts to gather around, and Xavier's like, "Yeah, 
everybody come over and check out this kid. Look at it. Look what he's doing. And everybody's keeping like a 10 foot wow. radius around Xavier. That's like, why I want to be near him. <laughs> yeah, we just have the worst hype man. <laughs> it's just the crazy guy, guy in the robe. These Pokemon, they're fighting the man. Go <laughs> talk to him. Why am I talking to him? Because you have the biggest connection. Do I him. have to say just, like, no, do any just roles? talk to him about conspiracies and walk start walking okay. away. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, get him out of here. Gotta get him out of here. All right. So me I and the hound are doing like a whole wrestling thing. Okay. Um, Crash at this point is trying to summon some water. <laughs> he starts like gargling. He's like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Meanwhile, ah! Bang kind of punches him in the stomach. <laughs> It, it looks produces, like he kind of pukes. He produces water. That's <laughs> what it takes. But not add anything, just no, all the crap. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You guys are a hot mess right yeah. now. Yeah, it's not it's organized. Like, <laughs> <laughs> They're just, just fighting each other. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to turn around and jump on Crash. Okay. And then Bang's going to jump on me, and then the Hound Door's going to kind of climb on top of everybody. He's okay. like, yeah. <laughs> Hound Door's... Just up there howling. Yeah, just like, ah! Is William netting any donations yet? I don't know. <clears throat> Can I, I want to walk up to the backpack and like look at other people and and be like, he's trying really hard and then put a dollar in the backpack. Nice. Okay. In the backpack? Yeah, he put his backpack in oh, the backpack. I'm trying, I'm trying to group mentality. Get some, get some money out there. Okay. Okay. If people see yeah. one person donating, they might do it yeah. themselves. <laughs> Thanks, man! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna follow Milo's lead and just drop a fiver into uh, oh, into William's hat. Six bucks so far yeah. from your own team. <laughs> Love it. Xavier's like, heck yeah, dude! Let's pay this kid. Let's go. And he walks up and he throws you two bucks. Yeah. Add it to the total. <laughs> All this for two dollars. I'm okay with it so far. <laughs> Some of people are enjoying the show. You do see, else they want to see. an individual um, in a very nice suit just walks up and goes, "This is fascinating." The young, oh the young man. He's he's battling his own Pokemon. <laughs> oh my it's God. not even a fight. He's just wrestling. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, young man, I simply must pay you. This is fantastic. Absolutely. Just put it in the backpack, he pulls out a He pulls out a $10 bill and is like, oh. this is incredible, everyone. Do you see the charity I'm performing? Oh, my God. <laughs> what a douche. Look at this. <laughs> Look what I've done. Yeah. Is everybody liking the show? Xavier's like, heck yeah, bro. This is great. Everyone else is like, yeah. It's like a young boy is just battling his Pokemon in the street. You start talking yeah. about tax write offs. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. If, you, if you donate any amount of money, you can use it as a tax credit. Like, <laughs> just tell Declan, he's, Declan. Yeah, he'll be cool with it. Declan. Declan. Is he Declan? No. Yeah. Mayor, Mayor is the Declan. Isn't his name Declan? Deacon. Or well, whatever. Oh, it's Declan. Fine. It works. It works. The mayor. <laughs> you mentioned tax write-offs, and everybody kind of goes, oh. Yeah, yeah, it's totally tax deductible. Really, <laughs> you can write it off. It's fine. Just talk to Declan, your mayor. <laughs> like, well, that's not the name of the mayor, but it's close enough. <laughs> is there anything anybody is interested in seeing? You want to see a manky put me in a headlock? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I punch, I punch Bang right in the nose. Xavier's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And the very pretentious guy's like, oh, yes. <laughs> Do show us that. Bang puts me in a headlock with his tail. And then uh, Crash jumps on the hound door's back. And they both kind of ride at <laughs> me <laughs> and Bang. And just all of us crash into each other and, like, fall over. Oh, my God. <laughs> over the course of the next, like, hours, you guys are wrestling. Oh, my God. You make... A solid like twenty six bucks. Let's oh, go! Nice. In addition to, to in addition to total, total, total. Okay. including the six that you guys contributed. Yeah, that's right. So twenty bucks. Yeah, that's not Because I'm giving you guys your money back. Obviously. So you're at twenty nine. Heck yes! Let's go. Well that's sick. <laughs> well done. Not bad. And after a while, Officer David does show up and go, "Kids, you got it. You got to move along." All right. Thank you for letting us do it for this long. Does that include what William goes? No. Oh. Oh boy.
boy. Oh, no. William's now the richest person. Yeah, William <laughs> probably has watches and wallets and stuff. William's been doing very well. William was just pulling a Becky going up to every person. They're like, oh, bank. you're so cute. He just walks up, he like tugs their collars. He's like, <laughs> come on. Like trick or treat. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But for just... <laughs> but for monetary donation. He doesn't even care. They probably could put anything Bentley in there. Bentley, oh, here's your money back. Thank you, guys. Good work, man. Yeah, yeah that, was that was awesome. I thought maybe these people would enjoy something like that, and they all got money, so why not? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was smart. Yeah. William shows up wearing a backwards ball cap. <laughs> Where he got it, you have no idea. <laughs> well, yeah. um, his ears are kind of folded down awkwardly over the back. It's <laughs> uh, awesome. And his, he's just dragging the hat. <laughs> oh my god. That's sick. He should call him into his Pokeball. Yeah. We're gonna call him into his Pokeball. Okay. The hat goes with it when he goes inside. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna pull back. Because he's like bang. hauling his treasure. He's like, Argh. Oh my god. Just oh, pull it back. Oh yeah. Shoo. It's got so much stuff. That's crazy. Alright. We're gonna have to look through that later. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, agility time. Let's go to the agility place. Okay. As you guys get to the agility field, it's like around sundown. Uh-huh. So there's not a whole lot going on there anymore. Uh, but you do see it's just a big open field. It's kind of like Quidditch hoops on the ends, um, both on the ground and up high. Um, <laughs> just have William throwing up, so like a football. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah! laughs> well, if it's anything like throwing the stick, it's going to be money. <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> just have just Nupster walk. freeze himself into a giant ice shard and <laughs> William just throws him in and catches it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are there any trainers yeah. around? Uh, not currently. It's okay. very very calm and quiet. Is the okay. is the gym active at all? Because I kinda wanna get my battle code or trainer code settled. Uh, the gym is lit up. Do you guys wanna do that real quick? Yeah, we're going the gym. Did you wanna do well. something on the course first? I mean, if there's anybody around, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'd probably just but think it'd be better if someone, like, taught us what we're supposed to do okay. as opposed to just winging it. Just flying through hoops and yeah, make not making, making any progress. Is everybody going to try to do the gym? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Succeed is another story for oh, me, yeah. but... Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we have to beat it to purchase anything in the right. town. Sweet, so. so let's go inside the gym. Okay. okay. <clears throat> as you make your way inside the gym... You see a very well-dressed man sort of stood at the doorway. He goes, trainer IDs? Uh, uh, do I'm I out. have one of those? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're we're looking to register for one of those if we could. Follow me. Cool. He walks over to a side table and he's like, name? Uh, Bentley Woods. Pokemon? Uh, Magby and Yanma. Fantastic. Hold still. And he gets a very awkward picture of you like, what? He just goes, name? Phoebe Wilhelm. Pokemon? William and Dunster. Pokemon? Sweet up in the sundress. Thank you. <laughs> Hold still. Name? Milo. Surname? Ruder. Pokemon? Ladybug, Murkrow, Houndor. Hold still. <laughs> Eyes closed. Perfect. Name? <laughs> CJ. Surname? My last name is J. <laughs> Pokemon? Uh, Totodile, Mankey, <laughs> Houndor. J. <laughs> Hold still. <laughs> Just goes. Hits a button on a, on a computer and four little IDs print out. Begins one to each of you. Goes, repeat after me. I humbly swear. I humbly swear. I swear. swear. That no matter what I see beyond these doors. That no, no matter, matter what, what I see beyond, beyond these, doors, these doors. Not a word shall pass my lips. Not a, not word, a word shall, shall pass, pass my lips. So this, is this, this, is this is the trainer's <laughs> code. This is the trainer's code. You sworn the trainer's code. You've done some training with Carlisle. Yeah. That's what we'll call. Well done. Ready. Having explored to their heart's content, our heroes set their sights on the next challenge, the Pokemon Gym.